Ladies and gentlemen, boom, bam, fellas. Okay, this one is for all the Bears fans. Bears 10 years rebuild. Guys, essentially, if you guys want another season of this, I think you will. At the end of this video, you're about to see what's going to happen. 10,000 likes to unlock season two of this franchise. I think could be one of the coolest we ever do. Bam, bam, look on the screen. Caleb Williams, Marvin Harrison Jr. Essentially what we've done in this is we have simulated an entire season as if the year ended right now. If you guys don't know, the Chicago Bears currently hold um, the Carolina Panthers first round pick. The Carolina Panthers are one of the worst teams in the NFL, so are the Bears. So if the season ended right now, the Bears would have the first and the third overall pick in the NFL draft. Meaning they could potentially get Caleb Williams and Marvin Harrison Jr., two of the most generational, unbelievable players. A situation that I think actually potentially could play out depending on what happens. So first things first, what we have done, um, before we gotta, kinda get into the draft here, we have moved on from Justin Fields. I've traded Justin Fields to the Atlanta Falcons for a third round pick. Justin Fields, we had a four and 13 year. It is what it is. Justin Fields is gonna go for a third round pick and it is time to move on and start looking at these unbelievable prospects that I think with this squad, and I am just dying to see Caleb Williams play, could change it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the draft. Let's go get Caleb Williams. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you can see round one, pick number one, the Chicago Bears are on the clock. And we are going to go with the generational, if you have not watched this guy's highlights, I have just been literally dying to use him in Madden, so I cannot wait for this. Um, if you've watched him play for USC, this guy is absolutely insane. They, a lot of people are saying he's one of the best prospects they have ever seen. The Bears trade away Justin Fields to get an absolute generational talent in Caleb Williams. Six foot, 220 pounds out of USC. Ladies and gentlemen, first overall pick, meet the new QB. Oh my gosh! That, the player models are all messed up and bad, and he will be fixed. He will look exactly like how he is. Now, this is what makes this rebuild so incredibly crazy. They also have the Panthers pick. So, pick number two, assuming this guy does not take Marvin Harrison Jr., we are going to have a chance to get Caleb Williams and Mar... Oh, my gosh, he goes Brock Bowers. We are going to have a chance to get Caleb Williams and also a generational wide receiver out of Ohio State. Caleb Williams not only comes in and has DJ Moore, he also has Marvin Harrison Jr. to throw to. I think this is absolutely freaking insane. A catching 6'4", 205 pounds out of Ohio State, ran a 4'4", considered completely generational. Ladies and gentlemen, I am selecting Marvin Harrison Jr. Oh my gosh. The guy is freaking stupid. Um, okay, so this is where we're at, guys. Um, essentially, Caleb Williams, Marvin Harrison Jr. are about to join the Bears. We're about to play a full season franchise against 32 other users, play as many seasons as possible. This is our starting point. Can we make Caleb Williams the GOAT? Can we make Marvin Harrison Jr. the GOAT? Kill the like button. I want multiple seasons. I want to see Caleb Williams with more rings than Tom Brady. So please, let's continue doing this. Guys, we'll see you in the regular season. Okay, so before we get a death try, I just wanna show you guys the player models. This is Caleb Williams, he wears the long baggy sleeves. Dude is an absolute freaking beast. And then on the other side, we got Marvin Harrison Jr. who's gonna be his new number one target at six foot four. Guy is absolutely, there's two generational players in this draft and we just got them both. Um, Marvin Harrison Jr. wearing number 18, you can see the long sleeve. Dude is super freaking fire. Okay, so with all this being said, guys, it's time to do the official Bears depth chart. The one year into the future Bears depth chart. Um, before we get into preseason, before we go into everything. Actually, I'll probably go through preseason first. Do the official depth chart after. Uh, focus players are going to be Marvin Harrison Jr., Caleb Williams. And then I'm probably going to go with my third focus player being... Uh, oh, Darnell Mooney. I love Mooney, too. That, that's a good. That's a good receiving core. It really, really, really is. I, I think that's a low-key kind of dangerous receiving guard. We'll go through preseason. We'll do the official depth chart week one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you guys saw the intro. That takes us here. Week number one of the 2024 NFL season with Caleb Williams, Marvin Harrison Jr., DJ Moore, and a new look Chicago Bears team ready to make waves. Boom, bam, fellas! Oh, I already said it, but I honestly, I want this to be a multi-year franchise. I want this to be 10 of these full seasons. I want to see Caleb Williams 
turn the Bears into the greatest team of all time. I want to see Marvin Harrison Jr. go for 2,000 yards 14,000 times. I want to see the Bears be great because I know there's a lot of Bears fans out there. So please, kill the like button, guys. This is where we're going to be starting. Uh, first thing I want to show you guys is the player models for our two new players, Marvin Harrison Jr. selected with the number three overall pick. Um, dude's a beast, number 18. Can catch anything, six foot four. Um, he's happy to be here because the team has a franchise QB. We do have a franchise QB now in Caleb Williams. And Caleb has someone he can throw to every single play, if need be. Six foot four, 205, Ohio State kid. You already know about Marvin Harrison Jr. Um, cannot wait. Now let's talk about Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams, considered by many to be kind of the best QB prospect that they've seen in like a very, very, very long time. This is Caleb Williams. Um, he's going to be wearing number 13. Bear starting QB. Absolute stud. Um, only 21 years old, which is absolutely crazy. Um, which is his potential is going to be so high. His XP bar is so low. He's six foot one. He's a beast. And now let's go do the official kind of like, I want to do an entire roster breakdown before we kind of get into this season because like I said, this is a full season franchise. So I do want to make sure we go through everything. Running back, we have Khalil Herbert, who you guys know I'm a big fan of. Khalil Herbert is someone we can lean on. He's a star dev. I want to try and get him to superstar. 89 speed, 88 acceleration, 82 change of direction. Um, this is an underrated player in, in the Bears, like just in the Bears franchise. Very, very, very underrated. Um, I think he had a pretty decent last year and the year before um but he's our running back option we didn't end up taking a running back in the draft but he was he's good for three and a half and then in 2022 5.7 yards per carry like he's not he's not a bad running back by any means he's shifty he's small and he's our starting running back wide receiver dj money man more 27 years old the thing about having caleb on this team is we not only have like we already had an elite receiver now we just have two that's the beautiful thing about this we now have two super 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 elite receivers in dj moore who can just take over games he's fast he's quick and that is part of the reason why i think marvin harrison jr is gonna be able to come here and be an absolute beast from or no caleb williams is gonna be able to be an absolute beast from the jump is because you're adding dj moore and marvin harrison Jr. this is a perfect duo just size speed Marvin Harrison Jr. has 93 speed, 94 acceleration, 92 spec catch. He's going to start from day one. Darnell Moneyman Mooney is going to be our third receiver. He is star dev. Um, 5'10", 173 pounds, star dev wide receiver. Dude's a stud, though. I don't think anyone who's ever watched Moneyman Mooney in my videos knows how good he is, knows how shifty he is, and knows how funny he is to use. Um, our fourth receiver, we have Tyler Scott, who's a one-year guy. Um, out of Cincinnati, actually kind of a beast, pretty quick, probably won't play a lot if I'm being brutally honest though with you guys. I just don't necessarily know if there's like a ton of spot. And then Vilas Jones Jr. is a speed, speed guy. I can't believe it's already been two years since he's been drafted. He was 25 when he was drafted. Um, so he's a bit of an older draft pick out of Tennessee and he probably won't play a lot. Our, our starting three receivers are boom, boom, boom. DJ Moore, Money Man Mooney, and Marvin Harrison Jr. That combined with Caleb Williams, that sounds like touchdowns to me. Tight end position, we have Jawan Johnson. Um, I believe they just signed him. We have Robert Tunyon and then Kalen Granson. Um, Robert Tunyon, I want to just double check something real quick. Just give me one second. He signed for a few years. Um, yeah, he signed. He's got a decent contract on He's 30 years old. He's our number one tight end over Jawan Johnson just because 85 speed, 89 acceleration. Jawan Johnson, I actually don't know if he even... Does he play for them? I, I'm sorry. I have not watched as many Bears games this year, so I'm just going to look because I want to see... No, he's a New Orleans Saints free agent pickup um, that the CPU picked up. So Robert Tunyon is going to be our starting tight end. No doubt about that. O-line, this is where this team struggles, and I'm looking forward to rebuilding this over the next few years. Left tackle, we have Braxton Jones. 25-year-old, not a bad player at all. Tevin Jenkins, I really, really, really like the 26-year-old. Um, he's gotten better um, throughout his career. Six foot six. Cody Whitehair, a good guard. Nate Davis, former Tennessee Titan. And then Darnell Wright and Avante Collins. Um, Darnell Wright's gonna be our starting right tackle. These are this is the position that's like Caleb's gonna have to get a little bit creative. He's gonna have to improvise. He's gonna have to move around because 
I'm not going to lie. This O-line is a big reason why Bears fans are frustrated with this team. So it is what it is. Now, defensive line-wise, in this hypothetical draft, in the second round, they drafted a guy by the name of George Moody, who I think I'm going to play a little bit, but I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Um, they got Dominique Robinson at the right end, Deacon Robinson, Justin Jones in the middle with Trayvon Fleming, Gervin Dexter. This is going to be one of the main players that I, I want to use a lot. Um, and I wanted to key in on him is just because I drafted him in Steelers franchise. One thing I like about this guy is he's just, he's got good speed, 76 speed at 312 pounds. He's my starting defensive tackle out the gate. Don't even have to really talk about it. Garvin Dexter, he's going to be starting there for me. No doubt in my mind. Tyus Bowser at left outside linebacker. Um, eh. these are, these are the interesting positions where you don't necessarily, you're not going to see as much depth. Um, unfortunately, Tremaine Edmonds is a beast. You got to have him on the field. Um, even though in Madden terms, he's not that good because Madden does not show any love to linebackers. Tremaine Edmonds is good enough where like, if he's not playing every play, it's a me problem. Like I got, I got to find a way to get him on the field, even though it is a position that is a little bit less talked about. TJ Edwards is at right outside. DBU, um, we got Tyreek Stevenson, who I think has been a beast for them. Terrell Smith, Jalen Jones, and then Jalen Johnson is the leader of the group. Kyler Gordon um, is also a stud. And then you have over here, you got Jaquan Brisker. Who you guys, I don't even have to tell you about Jaquan Brisker. You know about an Eddie, steady Eddie Jackson, who I love. This is a Bears defense that I, I know I can get stops with. I know I can do some good things. They no longer have Roquan Smith, if you guys remember. But this is a usable defense. But the main event of this whole franchise is going to be this offense. This offense is going to have to go crazy. I don't think the defense is going to get those Super Bowl stops. Our offense needs to become unstoppable with Caleb Williams. We got to run around. We got to be great. We got to be smart. We got to throw off our back foot. We got to throw off our left foot. We got to throw off our right foot. And we got to get W's. First game of the year, we're going up against Anthony Richardson in his second year. And a very, very, very good opponent. Um, this definitely could be one of those games that could be considered a trap game, just given the type of player that I am playing. I know this guy can play football, so it's going to be a bit of a tricky one. Um, the Colts are a solid team. I'm just excited to see Caleb Williams out there, honestly, just to run around with him, to ad lib, to ad lib, to try and make those crazy plays is what I'm most excited for. Um, he's going to get a scrambler upgrade to start off. That's going to put him up to a 78 overall, plus two throw on the run, which is awesome. Kyler Gordon's also going to get an upgrade. We're going to go plus one zone for Kyler Gordon. I always liked Kyler Gordon, um, plus one play rack and plus three zone coverage. And then Tyreek Stevenson's also going to get an upgrade. And we're going to go slot ability for um, Tyreek Stevenson because he is going to be a starter, plus three press. Um, row, okay, that, that's pretty much good. Guys, with that all being said, it's time for year one of the Caleb Williams, Marvin Harrison Jr. experience on the Chicago Bears, turning the Chicago Bears into the greatest team in the league in an online franchise. First game, we're going to go dominating offense. We're going to go passing game, try and get Caleb some stats. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Oh my gosh. This looks so freaking cool. First play of his career. I'm going play action, Marvin Harrison Jr. Let's go, man. This is about to be scary. I'm I'm just saying it. This is about that first play. I was like, I'm just gonna go simple, play action, drag route, scream and shout. Caleb looks great. Caleb looks absolutely great in this uniform. Come on, Khalil. Good job, Khalil Herbert. Fight for a couple. I like that. Oh my gosh! Marvin Harrison Jr. Good catch on third down. Good catch on third down, Marvin. Oh my goodness. The pocket presence, the step up, it was all so beautiful. Okay. I'm going to do this Bears QB sweep. That's all right. I'm just trying to, just trying to get him moving a little bit. Not that that's necessarily his game, but I'm just going to, as we go, you'll see me try and like get a little bit more creative with him. Go, Caleb. Go, Caleb. Go, Caleb Williams. Welcome to Chicago. Caleb, okay. 
good opening drive. Really, really, really strong opening drive. Marvin Harrison Jr. had two catches. DJ Moore had a catch. And then capped off by some crazy pocket. Get up field. Slide. 7-0. Let's go. Smith is there. Dude, that, that, he just got dunked on. Richardson looking to throw this. That's good read. Josh down at the 38. Now it's Richardson. Edmonds. That's oh. Again, it's Richardson. Okay, Bears, that sucked. That was freaking horrible. Okay, Caleb, we're going to need some points today, bud. Just throw it. Just throw that. that. That's the easiest step and throw you'll ever see. That's the easiest step and throw. As soon as they're not playing, somebody on Marvin Harrison Jr., I'm throwing that immediately. Just throw it. Just throw it. Just throw it. Just throw it. No overthinking. One step drop. One step drop. Ball out. As soon as I see somebody open, I'm, I'm getting rid of it. Oh my gosh. What a throw! What a throw from Caleb! On the run. On the money. I'm just killing the clock at this point. Look at him. That's a that's a snuggie. That's a snuggie, Anthony. Throwing on second and long, Richardson. And that's caught. He's got another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. He missed it. No, he got it. Richards into the air on first down. Oh, going deep here for Taylor. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown. I'll say, hold on a second. I have a little bit of fearlessness to my game. It isn't working. Got him. Well, Go, DJ. This to 30. They'll drop to throw. That's a first. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it Good defense. Honestly, the problem right now is the problem is not necessarily with this. The offense is buzzing right now. Caleb looks amazing. The problem is with my defense because my defense has been horrible. Just throw this to Marvin. Throw that to Marvin all day. Go, go, Khalil! Oh my gosh, Khalil! Oh my gosh! It's a huge play. Got him, DJ. This is everything right now. Play action. Now Richardson. Flushed out right. That's going to be caught by Dale. His running back let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Mm. A huge mistake late. It's intercepted. Jalen Johnson, come on! Now it looks like he'll throw here. Escape. Got him. GG's, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen. Game ball. Game ball. The rookie. Caleb Williams in his NFL debut comes out with a phenomenal. Performance. A generate like everyone kind of feels like with them. A generational type looking performance in this game. That was unreal from start to finish. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. GG's fellas. One and always never felt so good. What a game. That guy played really, really, really well. Um, with Caleb Williams, we were 14 of 16 for 200 yards and two touchdowns. We ran 8 for 25. Marvin Harrison Jr. had 86. DJ Moore had 81. Um, defensively, we were absolutely atrocious. Nothing good was happening in that game defensively. That's something I definitely got to look into. 
But overall, guys, that's a big time win. I love some of these throws that we made. Like even just some of these, like this throw right here, I loved. Simple, just like shh. no one's playing outside leverage on him. I notice it's cover three. I throw that immediately. That's eight yards. Great read. And then the DJ Moore touchdown was crazy. And then Jalen Johnson to end the game. Playing the running back. Jalen jumps it. Ice in my veins. Caleb Williams first game. Unbelievable. Oh, I already love this franchise so much. Okay, we got the Saints week two. Let's go do the exact same thing. I don't I didn't get my 350 yards, um, unfortunately, but I still got the win. So I think our entire team gets some type of XP. Um, because of the fact that we still got the win. I don't know for sure, but I think there is a little bit of an XP advantage to this. We didn't execute. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yep, still got 1,000 XP. Okay, see you guys week two. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week one. This is, this is, we're starting off good. Week number one of the, the regular season. Caleb Williams, 14 of 16, wins player of the week. This is what it's going to be about, man. This is what this whole franchise, this is what it's going to be about. It's the Caleb Williams experience. We're just, we're just lucky to be here to witness it. That first round, I was like amazed with like the short throws, the throw on the run. I was just like, I was running around. I was making good reads. I was simplifying reads. I had Marvin Harrison Jr. So people were afraid to press. Um, we were getting a lot of good looks in terms of just like how people were playing me. Um, was with a lot of respect, at least on his side, which was leaving DJ Moore open. A lot. Our run game with Khalil Herbert, eh, I, I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's unreal by any means. I don't know. Eh. He's like, he's a good IRL running back, but that game, his, his change of direction didn't seem like it used to. Like his change, I feel like it's gone down a little bit since the last couple of years, but we'll figure it out. Obviously, Tremaine Evans, it's so difficult to know where to put him. Because he does everything, but it's like, where do you, in Madden, though that position just gets like so exposed all the time. So it's, it's frustrating. 8.20 p.m., Soldier Fields, guys, week two, let's go. Okay, let's dance. Dude, Caleb in the rain. Okay, this looks like man on man. I'm going to look DJ Moore. Um, oh, gosh. This is the big question. Can he throw a wide side out row? Yeah, he can. Oh my gosh. Do not play cover three against Caleb. Just whatever you do, laser. Perfectly thrown ball to the outside. I love that. Okay. Watch that guy. Yeah, we're gone. Oh my gosh. Go, Williams. Go, Williams. Play, I'm looking DJ more. I just need that safety to drop down. That's so unfortunate. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Marvin Harrison Jr. was wide open. Oh, that stings. Okay. Hmm. Harrison Jr. was on a post or on, on, a, on a dig, and uh, DJ Moore was on a post, and I was trying to throw the dig. Unfortunate interception right there. Jaquan. Sit him down. Try and take it. Brisker, Brisker, Jaquan Brisker, do not get predictable. Jaquan Brisker, okay, back on offense. I'm feeling frustrated because of that first drive. Um, annoyed with myself that I uh, that I threw that ball, but it is what it is. Now we just have a chance to make up for it. I still love the play action game against this defense. I feel like I'm gonna be able to get time and, and roll out. There it is, Marvin Harrison, go! Okay, I would I would take potentially three here. Harrison Jr. got him again. I kind of want to look for Marvin Harrison Jr. Just with some inside leverage. Bang! Boom! Oh my gosh! He completes it to Olave. 
Carl try it again on second down. Nope, he's in. Pick it up. Edmonds, why are you celebrating? Oh, no. Edmonds was hitting a gross celly. Little did he know, or I know, that we just forced a fumble. I had no sweet clue that I got the fumble there. Good defense. Okay, third down. He's gonna get caught. He's gonna get caught. Go out of bounds. I just felt like I was gonna get caught. So in that in that spot, you take the good pick and you get out of bounds and you, you take three hundred percent. Yeah. I think that was I maybe could have gotten seven there, but in my mind, you make a big play like that, you can't let that have nothing. If I try and run it to the end zone and I get zero points and I lose by three, I'm gonna be sick. So our defense is playing well. Our offense is playing well. Let's go out here. One stop, one touchdown. This could be GG's. Jalen. That's why I love him. That is why I love him. Good job, Jalen Johnson. Okay. That's a beam. Oh, my gosh. That's a beam. Good throw, Brett. What's his leverage out there? To throw here. Yeah, DJ Moore, easy money, 15-yard hour out. On the run, on the run, Darnell, money man Moody, let's go. The double juke of the center. As soon as I saw that, I'm like, I'm just going to roll out. He's a, he's really good at throwing on the run. Roll out left, find him, double juke season, 17-0. Oh my gosh, good throw. That was gross. Good job, Moody. That's wide open. Just an awkward animation from the former Titan. Good play, though. Look at that throw. Look at that throw. What a beam. Oh, my gosh. That was... That, that's a wide side... You couldn't lie to me and tell me that that wasn't kind of cool. You cannot tell me that that was not kind of cool. Confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take the right. Defense stand tall again, third and goal. There it is. Khalil Herbert, let's go. GG's, dude. Great performance. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom, fellas, week three. Hey, we're feeling good. We're feeling really good. This duo is kind of as advertised. Our defense is getting stops but like that is the the place that i think long term in this if we do multiple years i need to be drafting defense we, we've done a good job with the offense the offense is here jaquan brisket they got his face scan finally let's go plus one acceleration plus two zone coverage um for him caleb williams i'm gonna be doing scrambler upgrades for him um he's gonna go up to an 80 overall which is absolutely beautiful plus one awareness and plus one ability slot as you expected caleb williams is going to be some type of hidden superstar, which we just got wind of already. He's considered the best draft prospect in years. Obviously, he's a superstar. Boom, and he gets plus one throw power to get him to 95. This guy is, he's good enough to carry us. He is good enough to carry us as far as we want to go. We got Kirk Cousins, Justin Jefferson here. Week number three, we got to lock in. Um, as far as players ready to negotiate, let's talk about this. We have 109 million in cap space. Um, and a lot of dudes who need money, which is what part of what makes this kind of an interesting long-term franchise. Tevin wants a bag at 26. Herbert, I got to wait on. Holy moly. Okay, steady Eddie. Eddie, I, I, I'm going to offer Eddie one year by nine. I just... Did he sign or not? No, he didn't like it. Wow. 
I just like more time. Interesting. Tevin, I would say I'd offer him this. Oh, okay. I need to wait because I think because the team's been bad, that's going to cause free agents to not want to sign with us. I think that's going to be a big thing. Okay, week number three. So far through two weeks, our stats are really freaking nice. Five touchdowns, one pick, um, and 51 on the ground, and everyone everyone's catching the ball. Let's go. Good long fake. Time is there. 62 just... Got him. Good defense. Third and twenty-nine. They'll set up to throw. That's box. That's a snuggy. Good defense. Oh, why am I the way that I am? Why on that first play did I throw that? That's what I can't. I'm trying to process in my head why I would throw that. Like I know it's there. There's really no safety help when I come out and run formations. Like. The safeties just kind of move, and, and it's very much like he's not really rushing many people. No! Moody! Did, like... Did you see the toe tap? And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top ten in the league against the pass. Come on, Brisker. Oh, good play. It's a good play. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He finds his man. Cut in. I don't know if you saw I was about to come out of my shoes. Okay, he's got a pretty good defense right now going. I'm, I'm in a bit of a snuggy. I'm gonna go for it, just momentum wise. I wanna put Marvin Harrison Jr. on the, the ISO on both sides. It'll be Marvin Harrison Jr. ISO. Because we right now we just got nothing open in that second here. I just need someone to win. I need someone to win. And like to me in these situations, you gotta go Marvin Harrison Jr. Oh my gosh, just just boxed. Okay, forget about that series. Holy moly! Oh, that was a dumpster fire, and Daniil's waving at me. Dang, that was horrible, 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 horrible. Good try. Let's see, Gervin Dexter. Gervin Dexter almost made that play. Oh my gosh! Yikes! Oh wow, that was embarrassing. Okay, offense, we gotta move. That this has been our worst game so far through the first couple drives. Yeah, go Mooney. Okay, let's heat up. I'm I'm taking way too much time in the pocket. I'm stepping way too far back is kind of my issue right now. I'm trying to make the big play and like the Caleb Williams rollout plays and I just need to slow down. Yeah. Oh, the juke move was bad. That's a bad juke he's got. First down though. Marvin Harrison, go up! Go up, Harrison Jr. There it is. Hurry it up. I don't want him to have a second. I don't want him to have a second. First down now, but the clock continues to move. They'll look to throw here. Flush to his right. And he takes it. They'll throw now on the final play. Oh my gosh! Clip it! A great effort there. Clip it! Oh, he's out, he's out, he's out. Wow. Now a play fake here on first down. Come here, come here. Dude, 
I couldn't love anyone more than I love Jalen Johnson. Oh my gosh, how I've missed you, Jalen. Holy moly, how I've missed you. Good job. Okay. This is just a play fake. I want to try and find Harrison Jr. over the middle. Dude, look at this guy. Mom? 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 I just hit another clip. Oh, anyone else? Anyone else? That's who um, Marvin Harrison Jr. reminds me of him. Just a little bit taller, but that's exactly who he reminds me of. Good throw. Got him. Dude, how on earth did he just make that play? He went. That's two for Trey Smith. Every time you throw an interception, if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way? Marvin Harrison. Got him. They'll drop to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. I see it. I like it. I want it. I got it. Holy moly. No, Tyreek Stevenson. Second and five. Forced out to his left. Got him. Is that three? No, that's that should do it, dude. We need breakouts on this on these this DB crew. This DB crew just played Unreal this game. GG's in the chat, fellas. What a game! Oh my gosh, what a game! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that game that was the. Absolute. That was like the Marvin Harrison Jr. coming out. Like that party. That was crazy. Um, I think I probably hit three clips in that game that were worth like potentially intro clips. They were that good. Um, Caleb's got nine touchdowns, two interceptions. I threw, I threw a lot more than I should have in that game, and I'm trying to get these guys touches. Marvin Harrison Jr., 114. And we get to play the Cardinals next week. The schedule is not overly difficult to start the season. We've got the Cardinals and the Rams. This is an easy schedule. We could so easily be 5-0 if we play this smart. We'll see you guys week four. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom, fellas. This QB1 check-in, I have I've talked about in the past how big this QB1 check-in is. Um, 300 passing yards with Caleb Williams. If I can somehow do it, he'll get a huge boost. Um which would be super, super, super clutch. Last game you saw, Marvin Harrison Jr. and Caleb both just went absolutely crazy. That was like, that was seeing the next 10 years. And if you're a Bears fan watching this, you're probably like, oh my gosh, I need this to happen. I know I'm not even a Bears fan, and I was like, oh my gosh, this looks unbelievable. Um, I was throwing it to him on posts, crossers, pretty much every single route, and he was just making big plays. He was good after the catch. He was just really, overall... Just super, super, super tough to stop. As I said, our schedule isn't anything too crazy. We got the Cards, the Rams, and then the Seahawks. Um, it's a short week. We got another weekly award. I'm guessing it's Marvin Harrison Jr. Yep, Marvin Harrison Jr. wins the weekly award. Um, that's two of the three weeks that we've played. We've had a weekly award winner on our offensive side of the ball, which has been crazy. No breakouts, unfortunately, on the defensive side. The Packers are 3-0. The Lions are 2-1. and one. The Vikings are 1-2. and two. Guys, we got the Cardinals week number three. Or week number four, let's go. Okay, open. This, is, this has been my opening play every single game, as funny as that is. I just love this as an opener. Marvin Harrison Jr. got it. How does he turn a slant into 18 yards with literally no sweat? Oh my gosh! Good throw, Caleb. Good throw, Caleb. Love that. He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. No, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to DJ Moore over the middle. That's that play is good because you got two routes that both work that like that. They're they're two routes that essentially space really well. So like I got Marvin Harrison Jr. He was doubled. As soon as he was doubled, I go back to DJ Moore on the dig. Laser. Oh my gosh. 
That's what I'm. That's the Terrell Edmonds thing. When I said I have to have him on the field, that's what I was kind of going. His awareness is, even though he's not fast, his awareness is so good that you need to have him out there. I'm gonna try and end around. This is this is wild. But if it works, you gotta kill Lifeman. He's been pinching his line like this, so I've been thinking like, oh, I wonder if an end around would work. Good job, Junior. And it clearly does. Just because when people pinch their line, you gotta have ways to kind of make it so that they can regret it. I'm also just trying to open up the playbook in this particular franchise, do different things, utilize motion, utilize creativity. This is the actual Bears playbook that I'm using. So utilize jet sweep motion. Look, we got two two stops, two motions right there, and then a beam to DJ Moore. Five for five, 83 yards. Out of the gun now on third down. Ah. Uh. Doing too much. Doing too much. That's where I'm trying to create the Patrick Mahomes effect. Shoot. Oh, I pushed that. Oh, gosh. That kicker sucks. Okay. He got me, didn't he? Wow. That's what I deserve. That's precisely what I deserve. Go Mooney. Go Mooney! Dude, best player. Like, most underrated player through four weeks. Easily. Darnell Mooney. My gosh, is he ever good. Can I house this? Simple, simple, simple football. Simple, simple, simple football. 101, Marvin Harrison Jr. Maybe if I can get a lot. I might have a 101 back shoulder. Back of the end zone look. Dude, that was the throw. That was... That would have been a showstopper. If I threw that right where that needed to be. I don't know why he didn't really animate. I think that was a... Perfect throw, I really do. Now this time he'll look to throw. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's gonna move us back. Take three. It was third and 15. I was trying to make something crazy happen. I just, hopefully this time this kick meter doesn't move so freaking fast. Okay. This kicker is like absolutely huge. Good angles, guys. That's why you don't try and strip the ball every single time. That, my friends, is precisely why you don't try and strip the ball every single time. What on earth was I just doing? Nope. Fourth down. Wild that he just tried to run that. I respect it because I think he thought he would catch us off guard. I think it wasn't even an RPO, but we just got great interior D-line push. Nope, got him. That's Eddie. Eddie Jackson, go! Good job, Jackson. Okay. Lasers. If I can get to 300 yards, that that's the, obviously the goal um, for the breakout. I obviously I need to win too, and I, my passing game has been pretty. I've been I've become a little one-dimensional, run pass-wise. So I do need to start thinking a little bit more. That's a good little read. Tested in the third quarter. They'll fire deep, looking for more. <laughs> that was a cover three bomb to DJ Moore. I think there was a little bit of room there too. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. Dude, all I can say is I put myself in this situation. 
Ooh. Bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. That's a beam. See that that's a oh my god. That's a much more high percentage read right there than what I threw on the last drive. That that was that was me trying to do too much. That's just a simple step up read. As we get set for the fourth quarter. Just like that one. Simple reads. You gotta score though for me, DJ. That's this is like I don't know if you can compare this to what an actual rookie would do because this game was literally me doing way too much, like just trying to be a hero all the playing hero ball, and then it, it just cost me. Okay, we got 307 down tap. I'll just I'll just say right here, straight up to you guys, I just. I made horrible reads this entire game. I've never played this bad. I apologize. I'll make it up to you. This is just... That was a dumpster fire of reads. I don't know what on earth I'm doing. Don't know what on earth this was. Oh, my gosh. Good throw. That's GG's, fellas. I apologize. Horrible game. 100% on me. I'll own it. Won't happen again. This is what I needed to realize that I got to start playing smarter. I don't know why I was throwing it so recklessly. Like, just throwing garbage. When I, There was no reason I should have lost this game. I threw three straight interceptions. We'll call it a rookie game, but it wasn't his fault. It was my fault because I'm the one using them. But it is what it is. We'll just call it that. Okay, GG's guys. Nothing to be proud of here. I get one of these. One horrible game. We're not going to get the QB1 check. And I threw three absolutely dumb picks. Um, no touchdown passes. And I didn't I didn't run the ball enough. I, I learned to not do... Like here, watch this cut. DJ Moore. I feel like I got him if I throw this to the inside. Thompson just makes a really good play. He gets in front of us. My other pick was absolutely brutal. Like this one... I'm trying to force it to Marvin Harrison Jr. and click on. There's 14 people there. Like, just bad picks. This pick was even worse. I had DJ Moore wide open. I tried to do a throw on the run back to Marvin Harrison Jr. to try and hit a cool clip. And it's an absolute book. Guys, we'll bounce back. We're now 3-1. I'm embarrassed. I'm upset. We'll bounce back. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's go. We had a force win in week number five. The Rams guy was temporarily not here. So we get the dub in that game. Shout out to us. Four claps. Um, Caleb Williams, 191, no touchdowns. Um, Roshan Johnson had a bit better of a game. Two catches for 19 yards for Marvin Harrison Jr. Stat-wise, nothing too crazy, but hopefully um, Jalen Johnson gets another interception. Now I want to key in on Jalen Johnson going into this next game because Jalen Johnson has been by far the biggest defensive story in a defense that hasn't really got to the quarterback necessarily unbelievably well. Um, but four picks for him has been really good. Like I said, as you can see, our sack numbers are horrible, but our secondary has been really solid. So that's always good to see. Seahawks, we're going up against Seattle. Um, Never, I would say, an easy out. Always a team that's going to give you trouble, and I can't take anyone for granted. I just lost to an 0-3 team in the last game I played, so there's going to be absolutely no taking this game for granted. we got to play smart. we got to just make the right decisions, make the right reads, um, and I think there's always going to be a good chance that we can pull it off and we can win. So let's go do our upgrades real quick. I just, I'm mad at myself for last game, but I can't get too upset, or else I'll just stay really, really, really mad. So... The thing that sucked about last week is the last game I played, I just felt like if I played that game 30 times, I would win 29 of them. Like, that felt like the one. Like, there was no reason I should have lost that game. It was just a sell. Our defense was actually pretty solid. 
Caleb Williams is about to get another upgrade, which is unbelievable. He's going to go up to a true 81 overall. Shout out to Caleb Williams um, with his awareness and plus two short accuracy. Braxton Jones, Tyreek Stevenson has been a really good piece for us. So he's, I'm going to go plus one for him. His man-to-man is going to go up to a true 76, plus one awareness and plus three play rec. And he's a star dev. Gervin Dexter is another one. I'm going to go run stopper with him. Just trying to get his stats up. No need to really overthink that one. Plus one block shot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with that all being said, week five or week six, let's stay alive. Seahawks week, let's go. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. That's complete to DK. Out of the gun, Smith. That's a good throw. Holy schmoly, guacamole, man. You're getting dotted. He's actually got a really good route combo going. Pretty much making me choose. Oh my gosh. See what I'm saying? You cannot judge. Holy moly. Okay, Caleb, we got to be great today, bro. Okay, this first play, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but there's no read defender. I think Caleb could run for a while. With, with, with a couple even decent blocks, I think we're going to run. Okay. Oh, just stop. I'm just still... We gotta just slow everything down, make good reads, no more bad decisions. We made a lot of bad ones last game. They're playing off coverage. Yeah, make that throw all day. Marvin Harrison. If they're playing like that, even if, <coughs> even if it's Tariq Will and we're making that throw. I'm getting cover zero look, so I kind of want to... Yeah, that I switched DJ Moore from the outside to the inside <coughs> to get him on Quandre Day's laser. Let's go, man. Good throw, Caleb. That's just an adjustment. I was getting a lot of cover zero looks. So I was like, why am I running post? Let's just go to the outside, deal with the blitz, seven up and play defense. Defense was horrible last time. So we can't be any worse. Defensively, we cannot be any worse than we just were. So whatever it takes, let's go. Snuggy. That's a snuggy. That's a snuggy. He had nothing open. Okay, situational defense. So bad all year. So, so, so bad. <clears throat> Hit him! Oh, good read. Okay, we gotta move, fellas. We gotta move. Two really good drives by this guy. Just throw it a little low. Throw it a little low. Make a couple moves. Make a couple people miss. And if I, if you don't get out of bounds, just quit. Because Brett, you are the dumbest guy today. That's a beam. Let's go, Caleb. That's a laser beam. Bro, did you just see that throw? The step up, the poise. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look to throw here. It's got to. It's got to get to sideline, I and mean, he does. Perfect throw. <sighs> the pressure was coming right there too. That. That's the craziest thing. We had pressure in our face. I had to make a big time play. What's the, whoa, what's the, really though, did anyone else think, I don't know, he must have, wow, I thought that was just a perfect throw and catch, oh shoot, they'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw, good effort from Herbert, Okay, we got to take three. I thought that was a laser. The play before to Marvin Harrison Jr., I thought for sure we were going to be laughing our way into the end zone. Okay. We get ball at half with a good drive. With a good drive at half, I can um, give myself a lead again. We'll, we'll be plus three. So do not want to lose consecutive games here. Yep, just throw the quick read. Mooney, heads up. Wow, Mooney, you... That wasn't even funny. That was brutal. 
Robert. As soon as I see it, like he's just sending his whole team, so the run game isn't necessarily there. So I'm just kind of just taking what's given right now because I'm not convinced. There's a lot of he's doing a pretty good job with his defense. Nice throw. Oh, he got to us. Third and 17. Ooh, I feel like this is kind of a Marvin Harrison Jr. type situation in my mind. Hate that, hate that. I kind of want to go for an onside here and see if I can sneak one. Take a timeout. I'm just going to see. Sometimes these go pretty good. Yeah, grab it, grab it. Give me those! Let's go, man! Boom! How he just hold on, held on to that? That's one question. That's one answer. I'll never tell. Just throw it. Just throw it, Marvin Harrison. Get it to our best player. If we get seven, if we get seven, like that onside kick was crucial. Crucial, crucial. Is he just screaming at me? I got no words anymore, dude. It's just Mooney. It's just Mooney. Holy moly. Mooney is stupidly good. I need blocks, guys. I need blocks. Oh, oh my gosh. This sucks. Like, I, I can't not take three points here. Time-wise, everything-wise, it's horrible. That could cost us the game. Oh. 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 He pretty much just iced it. He pretty much just iced it. Oh my gosh. The only good thing is, field goals are completely blocked out now. So it's like, the game's glitched. So I'm just banking on a missed field goal at this point. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And his kick here is good. Dang, guys. Like, even this throw, I don't think this is necessarily a bad throw. But, yeah, you just couldn't quite hang on. Oh. Tough L, dude. We're taking tough losses right now. Like, there, I probably should have looked. Harrison Jr. was kind of doubled on a lot of these plays. Guys, that's tough. Okay, we're going to have to fight. It's going to be a... The offense is moving decent. The defense is meh. Okay, we'll see you guys. We got a bye week and then we got the Niners, so it's not going to be easy. GG's. Okay, we get an upgrade with DJ Moore. Thank gosh. Okay, we'll see you guys after the bye week. Um, disappointed is an understatement for these last couple weeks. I thought we were playing really good football and then things have just kind of slipped away from us. Um, our record isn't horrible. It's 4-2, and two, but... I think it could be a lot better. We'll see you guys for the Niners. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week eight. <sighs> Ups and downs, a little bit of a lack of firepower um, has us looking at, in the position that we're at right now. It's been it's been a 50-50 kind of go here for, through the beginning of the season. Um, I would say in some ways I'm really impressed with myself. In some ways I'm not. We got to win this next game. We got to win these next three games. Honestly, we got to stay on track. Our division's tough. The Lions are 6-1. and one. We're sitting second in this division, and, like, everyone in this division's winning games right now. So, playoffs aren't even guaranteed. This is a big-time game against the Niners. Cannot. We got to try and get stops. I don't know what to do. Our defense is just getting exposed constantly. Um, we'll do our best. Big-time game. Caleb Williams isn't having a bad season. He started off having an unreal year, and now it's kind of meh. 
Um, and these guys are all, I'd say Mooney's underrated. Like, one of the better players in this team. But this is a big time week. <sighs> Let's go. Here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Still going. One man to beat. And he was Touchdown. 49. Oh. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage? Trying to really categorize this crew. They're top 10 in the league against the pass. But the bottom half... The the don't, let's not allow those. Like, anything but just like an easy drag. That's what I always try and limit on defense. I just try and not let people just throw drags against me because those are the easiest reads. So I play a lot of hard flats, but there you can see, like, still, we're struggling. Good job, Brisker. Sit him down. We need this. Guys, if we lose this game, this season's about to get freaking dark. Lurk him. Lurk him. Dude, if I lurk somebody, pick it, Kyler Gordon. Oh, my gosh. If I lurk somebody like that. Oh, my. And I get stuck on my line. I did double team him, though. I double teamed Ayuk for good reason. Okay, he gets three. Oh, brother. Okay, relax, Brett. Relax. Relax and make reads. There we go, Caleb Williams. There it is. This is the offense that we had. Good play. Get some points, man. We do get ball at half, and like I said, we cannot afford. We can't afford to drop this game. There we go, Herbert. Finally, we're getting a little bit of run production. The last few weeks, sure, I haven't ran a lot, but like it's been because we just can't. Had horrible, 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 horrible blocking. So this blocking has been unreal. Good, just keep on running. If the blocking is gonna look like that, just keep on running, please. This should be DJ Moore wide side. Just an hour out. Just a ten and out. To 10 and out, and he got him. It's about as simple of a read as it gets for me. Just a simple 10 yard out route laser. I did not think that was that bad of a read. I really didn't. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go home, 11. I did not think that was that bad of a read. Oh my gosh. Okay, at least we forced him in. A minimum, I can say that we forced him back inside. This is not a fun team to play at all. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. This bit right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly. Out of bounds. He's out. Lucky by me because it's freaking fourth down now. But I was dotted up into an oblivion. There's, I did not. I don't. That was almost. That was a bad decision on his part. I'm. I'm committing to the run. He's got to be running this. No, he's not. He's not. He's not. Go, go! It's a missed throw for Brock Purdy. Go, go! Defense, win us a game. Defense. Fwah! It's a missed throw for Brock Purdy. Oh my gosh, he was going to CMC in that situation. Huge miss. Okay, I have one on one on the outside. Just take advantage of that. Come back or out. If that's not caught, I don't know what will be. Like, as soon as, like that's those are the reads that we just gotta take advantage of. As soon as I see one on one, like we right now we just have no rhythm, and we gotta get that rhythm back by just taking the easy throws. Like that. Take the easy throws. Take the easy throws, get seven. We're four for 10, 71 yards and two picks. This is far from a clinic, but come on, Caleb. Be great, buddy. Be great. That's picked, I quit. Yeah, Mooney, money, money man, Mooney. Right. 
Good job, Caleb! That's to the one. Is he not using his timeouts? If he's not using his timeouts, just snap this. Snap, 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 snap. I should be able to just throw this. Should be able to just throw that. Yep. Go, Marvin. Go, Harrison Jr. There it is. Good play. Yeah, DJ Moon, Darnell Mooney. Don't fumble. Good job. And they run the option here on first and ten. And they'll have it in the of third and three here. They'll look to throw. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy. Good user was on a trip to Cancun, all inclusive. Oh my gosh. He was watching. That's the running back route that I always go to. So he was. That was the worst defense I've ever seen. Okay. Oh, that may have just won us the game with some absolutely brutal adjustments by my opponent. Okay. Lock this thing up. It's overthrown. Is it not? Fumble, fumble, fumble. Pick it up. Pick it up. Let's go. Dude, the mo this, this, this defense is the most random defense of all time. We we get burnt, and then we just randomly get picks and fumbles. That one, that's Jalen Johnson and him making a really dumb decision, but oh, I feel like I could go to Marvin Harrison Jr. through the middle here, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to take the easy read. Check it down. On play action, they'll throw. And this will be caught by Mooney. He's got room. Good job, Mooney. That's a first down. So it's man on man again. Can he make the wide side throw? That's 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 elite. I just I just want to say that's elite right there. That wide side throw, one on one man coverage. Even though this game statistically is going to be somewhat of a disappointment. Look at these throws he's making. He hesitated. You hesitate, you reach, I teach, baby. GG's, guys. GG's. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom! Week number nine. Oh, Sunday be great, fellas. You guys already know the drill. Um, Just win. That, that's as simple as I can kind of make this. Just find creative ways to win. Last week, it was our defense that showed up. This week, we're going up against the Tennessee Titans. Love them to death, but a team that definitely we can move the ball on. A team that I, I truly believe if we can make the right decisions... We can have success against the Titans. They're not unbeatable. They're not unstoppable on offense. They have their issues. So we got to lock up. I want, stat-wise, I need to fix Caleb Williams' stats. We've, we've struggled a little bit, but I don't think it's necessarily a fair representation of how he's played. Like, this season, this isn't a fair representation of, like, I actually think he's been really good, although his stats right now don't really reflect it, which I know that sounds like just something ridiculous to say, but... At the end of the day, I, I do feel like he's been better than those stats. I want to move, I want to move DJ Moore to be the slot receiver, the full time slot receiver, um, because I do feel like that's kind of where he's best. Let's go find him. Where is DJ Moore? Um, because I actually want Marvin Harrison Jr. more on the outside, or I could potentially put him there. I'm gonna put DJ there though. I want Marvin Harrison Jr. more on the right side and then Mooney on the left side. Or, or Mooney on the right side, Marvin Harrison Jr. on the left. Guys, Titans week, week nine, let's go. Yeah, love that read. Quick throws, get back to what we were doing. Honestly, week one, week two, we had such like a good rhythm with these things, like just timing throws. And then I started just, started just hooping, dude. I just started just hooping, and that's not how you win games. Clearly, as I proved, as I started to just suck, but... Quiet down. Caleb's telling everyone to quiet down, please. What a route, Marvin! Work the middle of the field. That was just, that was timing. That truly, in every sense of the word, that was just, I had to trust that my O-line was going to hold up enough time to get 
Give me time. Because I knew Caleb Williams is winning that matchup. That's the thing. I knew he would win there. Oh my gosh. Biggest run of the season. Go 5'8". Block for me, 58. Sit him down, Caleb. He doesn't waste any time on wrapping another dimension to his game. Showing off those wheels. Yeah, Robert Tunyon. You're good. You're good, Caleb. Bear down, fellas. Bear down. Good job, Caleb. Yikes. Yeah. Sit him down. Good play. Good play. Oh my gosh. That is how you stop a receiver. He's out of bounds, though. Yo, Traylon literally just bullied my DB. I don't know if you saw what Traylon just did. Traylon just bullied my DB. Oh, gosh. Good play on fourth down. Okay. There it is. Good throw. I love that play, actually. Just like the rollout stuff with him. I think he's really good at it. Oh my gosh, that's just open. That's just open. That's just open. Good play. Six for seven, 107. Let's go. Slot man moves right. He'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. Go, DJ. This is just one on one with Harrison Jr. I'm just going to take it. You just don't. Like that. Auto check, dude. One on one, Marvin Harrison Jr. That's an auto check. That is the easiest touchdown you'll ever get. Red zone. Pressing him like all I'm gonna do is throw that to his inside shoulder and trust that he's gonna be the one who makes the play against the DB. Hundy P. Let's go. 14 6. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level. Make sure that block's secure before they slide. I know exactly where you want to throw this. We're seeing a pretty good one right now. Good play. This is like this is where we've lost games. We're just not getting the stops on these drives. So I need this to be a big stop. This could easily be quick outs. It's not. Good play. Somebody make a play, dude. Got him. Give me Marvin. Give me Marvin against Damani. Give me Marvin. That's why I motioned him over to get that one on one look against Damani. He's trying to play one on one against him. Flex on him, Marvin Harrison Jr. Good stuff. 21-7. Back to throw it's Levis. Now he's forced out right. And he'll go out. Levis. Yep, bag. Fourth down. Desperation time now. Here's Levis. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was kind of looking. I thought he might be throwing to the other guy. That's why I that was bad user. Through and through bad user. Levis back to throw. He's gonna get to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Levis now off of play action. His pass caught. That's a really cool. <laughs> Good hit. One-on-one -on -one with Marvin Harrison Jr. That's the only, the only thing that I can count on. Laser GGs, dude. Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's showtime. Seven and two versus six and two. The two best teams in the division right now. Um, the Lions have been balling. Like, 
really, really, really good this season. So this is definitely no gimme. This is no layup. There's no other basketball term that this is. This is just is not any of those things. It's going to be a tough game through and through. Marvin Harrison Jr. gets a breakout. He's going to get a plus one on his deep threat, um, which is awesome. Plus up to an 83 overall, plus one deep threat running, plus one release. Khalil Herbert gets an upgrade, which is needed because I do feel like running back is a position that we don't don't have a ton of firepower right now. Um, it's not to say we're bad at the position. I just don't know if we're like – I'm not scared of us there, and I think that's going to be a position that down the stretch um, needs to be better. I think – it's fair to say we're not really super dynamic when it comes to running the ball. Um, I want to try an XP gains. XP for center, XP gains for quarterback. Let's do this. And then I want my um, focus training to be on... There's one where you can get QB speed. There, where is it? Am I losing it? Dang! I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm losing it. Yeah, I thought there was a speed for QB type thing. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's on this side. I don't maybe I'm missing it. I thought there was a get plus 3 speed for QBs. Apparently not. Sucks to suck cuz I was kind of excited about that cuz I thought it, I thought it would be worthwhile for him cuz I do a lot of scrambling. Okay. Lions week, we got to lock in. This one was like, it's simple. I think we got to lock in. This is a big time game. The Lions now have Gilly. Six and two versus seven and two. Divisional, let's go. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Ah, good play. Good play. Simple play, but a good play. Oh my gosh, give me those lights. Dude, this is a new defense. Oosh. That, this is a different defense I'm trying. Man, oh man, did that just work. Holy, that was a snuggie. Good defense, okay. Yep. Go, Marvin Harrison Jr. End zone, end zone. Got him, let's go, man. The chemistry, chemistry, Danny Rojas. Danny Rojas and uh, Jamie Tart. It's kind of looking like that. Two aces, seven zero. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots. And get Come here. Come here, bro. This is a snuggie. I think I found something. I think I found something. That is two ridiculously good defensive plays. One guy to beat. Ooh. Yeah, it's eight hooks. Gross, gross, gross. Okay, at some point, Marvin Harrison Jr. will be one on one, and that's the point I want to throw it. You know what? Actually, he doubled him. Tunyon, you. Oh, okay. Okay, our defense has gotten us two stops, though, so. No stress, no stress. 10 0. We get ball at half. Remember that and just play ball. There is, it's not a perfect defense. There's essentially, yeah, that guy was not manned up. He noticed, finally. That's a miss. That's a miss. Okay, get seven, Caleb. Oh, my, Marvin. Oh, that's just trust. Trust and a little bit of stupidity. That's a deadly combo. <laughs> Same with this one. What happened? What did I just miss? I did. Wasn't. I was looking at my phone. What did he do? 
That's down me. They're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone. Lurk him. Dude, we're lurking this guy out of the gym. Just because it's my division, bro. Just because it's my division, I taunt. Just because I'm, I'm trying to show this guy, hey, next time, well, I don't even know what I want to show him next time. This is just going to be a Caleb Williams masterclass throw right there. Laser. Mooney on the outside. Beam. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Now he's forced out left. See the best athlete in the NFL right now. He might just be. They'll look to throw here. Buying time to his left. I thought I went for a Heisman moment. I went for a Heisman moment. I'm moderately worried I'm getting blitzed like crazy right now. I think I got him anyway. Dude, that's crazy. Third and eight, or fourth and 18. Who else? Marvin Harrison Jr. Crazy. The chemistry is insane. Holy, what a catch. I'm such a nerd in these games. I love this job, man. Sometimes I just love it. Keeps the play alive. Finds Khalil Herbert. First down and more. Escaping the pressure right. If he's one on one on that left side, I really just want to throw it. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Call one eight hundred different. One eight hundred different. Hello? Yeah, it's yeah. Dang, I thought I had something there. Second and four. He's airing it out for Williams. <laughs> and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Eddie Jackson picks it. And the Bears are going to with the ball in a comfortable fourth quarter lead. He's Go up top. Deep right side. He's just outrunning everybody. He's the best player in the league right now. The best duo in the NFL. GG's in the chat. My division. Okay, so that game, guys, we are currently 7-3. and three. We get an upgrade with Kendall Williamson. We got the Packers next week, um, who's kind of near the bottom of the division. I guess you could say 5-4, and four, still a positive record. Oh, let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, weekly award, Marvin Harrison here, 235 for the kid. Statistically speaking, on the year, Caleb had a better week. Like I said, his stats were straight. Marvin's almost got a thousand. Those stats are starting to go crazy. And as I start to trust him more and just throw him the ball more, that's when we're seeing these wins kind of stockpile. The offense just seems that much more dynamic and quick and tough to stop because teams just like it's not easy to stop Marvin Harrison Jr. Like it's just truly, simply, it's not always go an easy task. Um, getting him off the field because on those third downs, like I, I can start just throwing jump balls to him. He's just winning in a lot of like, if anyone ever tries to press him, it's not going well. Like it's truly not going well. He gets enough, he's going to go to an 85 overall, um, plus one release, plus one deep row running. Um, Gervin Dexter gets an upgrade as well as Jalen Jones. Guys, this is the Packers week going up against Jordan Love and the squad. Put up or shut up, sign the check. Let's go. He just, like that's, that's a laser. And that's a good first step. Jones again. Good play. Now a play fake here on first down. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Good play. Second and nine now. Good throw. Let's go. Mooney. Yeah, Caleb Williams. Oh, 
Holy, that was a beam. Good throw. Point at the crowd. Flex. Love it. Love it, love it. Love it, love it. 7-7. Seven, seven. Guys, the love, love was kind of inaccurate there. Why do I keep breaking my shirt? Um, fourth and fifteen. They'll try and throw for it here. Nope. Now a shotgun snap. Go, Caleb Williams. Sit down. Back to throw here. Dude, that's not even look at his cellies are what I love so much. I love this, like the, just the celebrations. 14-7. Love looking to throw it. Flushed it. And the ball comes out. Love lost it. And this is picked up. Okay, get seven. Get seven, get seven. And slide and protect what you heard. Eluding the pressure right. I don't love scrambling with him. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Tunyon. Good throw. Let's go. Good throw. On third down, he'll drop to throw. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the second. That was dumb. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're gonna go for it. Manually outside shading. Tackle, tackle, tackle. Now Jones. Oh, I messed that up. Okay, now I gotta play smart. Herbert powering up the middle. And able to get this. Take the big shot, hoping someone can get lost behind the secondary. They weren't able to connect on that. Laser, good throw. They'll stick with the passing game. As he looks to throw. That pass completes to Moore. And they get... Again, he'll drop to throw. Got him. Touchdown, Bear! Now, Love. He's going to launch this. That's, there's nobody else. Nobody else. by Jalen Johnson. Love that. And he concedes. Okay, GG's, guys. Okay. That's it for me tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Season goes on. Boom, fellas. Okay, I don't know if you see what I see. Caleb Williams officially got all of his stabs. Caleb Williams is officially a superstar. As expected, um, he was hidden dev superstar. There's only, like, usually, like, one QB in the entire class that gets that, and Caleb Williams has it. Um, with that, I get some abilities. I get bulldozers. Bulldozer. I could get No Look Dead Eye, which is kind of cool. I might even go No Look Dead Eye. Jukebox. I'm kind of thinking maybe Jukebox. Even though that's like, it's not a practical ability. I don't know if that, like, it's just not, it's not overly practical. We'll get a third ability when we hit 85 overall. But guys, Caleb Williams is officially, officially, officially a superstar. This is what we have in this team. We're going up against the Patriots. Uh, we had a force win last week against the Minnesota Vikings, um, we got the win in that one. Now we play against a really tough out in the New England Patriots. This guy's not an easy win. Um, he knows what he's doing. I've struggled against him this year. We just got to lock in, try and do our thing. Our stats are starting to look a little bit better with Caleb. 23 touchdowns, 9 picks, 2,500 yards. We're playing good football. Harrison's potentially after this game can get to 1,000 yards. Guys, lock in like Stockton. Be great. Let's go. <sighs> Caleb dance, Caleb. Yep. Darnell Mooney. Oh my gosh. I might just help. Dude, chill, man. Chill, chill, chill. I got a wife. I got a wife. Oh my gosh. That was like, he just depleted me. Okay, Caleb Williams as a superstar looks sick, by the way. Just wanted to say three class for Caleb Williams. Superstar. Gotta love him. Um, doesn't matter if we can't get dubs with it. But honestly, if I can keep upgrading, if I can keep... Doing good things with Caleb Williams. The sky is the limit with this guy. It really is. 
There we go. That's a good run. That's a smart, smart run, which is something we have lacked completely in this. The, like, smart game. Yeah, go, Caleb. Go, Caleb. Run, man. First down and more. The pocket presence. Got him. Harrison Jr. over the middle. Good road. That is all timing. That's that's a three-layer dip right there. That's your running back, the drag, and then the dig is what you come back to. Is your that's your final read. The running back is your first read, then the drag, and then if you have time and you can step up, if he can cover both of those, the dig will be wide open. No fumbles, please. No fumbles, thank you. Caleb Williams! Caleb Williams! Got him, coach! Olympics. Good defense, guys! Thank gosh. Oh, good. Khalil Herbert. Well done, Herbert. That's a first down. That's a great first down right there. I love that. That's too much. It was just it was just bump on the outside. He double teamed my outside receivers. I would have had a one on one with Mooney, but DJ Moore and Marvin Harris the Jr. were both double teamed, and that rush just was way 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 too much for us. Okay, take the three. It's a free three because we did get a stop, so that's all right. Now Jones got him, dude. It's a snuggie. This is like, I lost to this guy like four times in a row. Oh my goodness. This is a bit of a snuggie. Okay, run the ball, get seven. I think I may have a defense, like in general a defense. I've boxed the last few people I've played. We're kind of peaking at the right time. Oh, come on, Herbert. Got him, Khalil Herbert. Oh my gosh, this is a Snuggie. This is a Snuggie. My goodness. I don't think... This guy's literally before the game, he was talking. He's like, blah, 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 blah. Yes, yeah, shut up. You can't move the ball on me. Shut up. You can't move the ball on me. Let's go. All that talk, and then this is, this is the performance that comes with it. Oh my gosh. Cover zero, double teaming Marvin Harrison Jr. No, it's done the last play. Laser to Tyler Scott. Time do you try something? You're thinking about jump starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. Oh, he put it on the cover. Give me those! Dude! This is a snuggie. This is this is probably the biggest win I've had all year. This was a statement. Oh my gosh. 31-0 on B-Corms. Holy moly. Yikes. Good play. Oh my. Good catch. Second down and goal. Jones. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, bro! I wanted to shut up, especially because he gets ball at half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. You have to think you can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead. Oh, now he's kind of now he's kind of moving the ball a little bit. Possible. If this possession is an empty one. Come here. Holy doly, Mike Williams. 
Mike Will is absolutely in our head right now. That's all I'm going to say. To throw again on second down. Jones, he's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Back to throw. Jones. That's a beam. Okay, we got to be smart. Caleb, that's disgusting. Good read, Caleb Williams. Good read, Caleb Williams. That was... That step up was elite. That step up was elite. Tyler Scott! Oh my goodness, what a catch! Okay, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Big time dub. Jaquan Brisker is going to get an upgrade. Um, plus one zone for Jaquan Brisker. Good for him. Guys, huge, 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 huge win. We're starting to play some really cool football. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. is close to getting his number of snaps that he needs in order to potentially get his breakout. Caleb Williams is starting to heat up. Harrison's heating up. We're throwing lasers. We're peaking at the right time. We've won a lot of big games. Our defense is getting better. The Lions have lost a couple in a row. We're starting to take this division. Packers next week. Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got a force fit week 14. The Packers has officially quit the league. Um, he, is a, <laughs> he is a Cowboys fan. And the Cowboys just lost to the Niners. So I think he's a little, he's like, yeah, no. I'm not playing you. I'm like, oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so we'll take the fourth win against week 14. Guys, we should, if Marvin Harrison Jr. is it a superstar, I'm going to be absolutely sick. Boom. You can see abilities. Love it. 85 overall, plus one speed and an ability slot. Holy moly. Generational talent of the year. Okay, so I can get different abilities with him. I'm going to go matchup nightmare is one of my favorites. Short in. And then deep, deep in, or do I want to go, I'll go outside of pronouns. It's my three abilities. Guys, we officially now have Harrison Jr., DJ Moore, both up to a superstar, um, which is going to help us, especially come playoff time, as we're trying to win a, win a belt here, um, and take the Bears to a Super Bowl. Like I said, this is a multi-year franchise, if you guys want it to be so. Um, I definitely... I think having those two guys potentially next year, like I think, honestly, I would be shocked with the season we've had with, like where is he for MVP? Yeah, he's fourth for MVP with the season we've had for him. I would be shocked if at the end of the year, these guys both aren't X factors, which is gonna be the crazy, crazy, crazy thing about this. Okay, we got the Jags this week, um, one and 12, let's go. Okay, let's just, let's stay buzzing, dude. We're playing great football right now. Let's just stay buzzing. Laser, doesn't throw a perfect spiral all the time, but I'm getting the ball around. Like every everybody's getting the ball. I would love, just for the, like as we get close to the playoffs, I think we are gonna be a playoff team. I would love to feel more comfortable in the five wide because I've, I've had people play five wide against me this year and give me, he can outrun him. Yeah. Go, Caleb. That's, that's a superstar. Yeah, Marvin Harrison Jr. Let's go, dude. Good road, Harrison. I see you. Got him. Dude. Like, come on! How is that fair, Marvin? How is that fair? Oh, we need... We can do this. We can, I honestly feel like I can win some championships with these two. Got him. There we go. 7-0. Oh, you. Oh, that's... Steady Eddie Jackson. Go. Get out of there, Eddie. Go. Okay. Get seven again. That's crazy. That's crazy. And he's going to house this. That's the crazier thing is he might just, Marvin might just house this. Five for 600 yards. Laser. Got him. They 
go play action now. Lawrence. Hit him. This one complete to Christian Kirk. You better believe he made the right decision right there. You better believe it. Got things rolling on this drive. Again, it's Lawrence. They'll let this Eddie. For the Eddie, get another one. Wow, what a throw. Can't even be mad. What a throw. That's beautiful. Look at that. Did you see how he's pressing Marvin over there? It's just not how you... That's not how you press him. Like, there's some people you might get away with. That's just... That's not how I personally press Marvin Harrison Jr., but you can do whatever you want, but that's, that's not what I'm doing. Laser. Good throw. Yeah, I got him out, man. Dude, but why does his juke move suck? Good run, but why does your juke suck, dude? Bugs me a little bit. Okay, get his user to move left. And then we go up to Marvin. How does he catch that? This guy is literally glue. The more he like plays, the more dominant Marvin Harrison Jr. gets. This is getting absolutely gross. There's nobody to on more. Except that guy, but sadly for him, he sucks. 21-7. Every time I check my phone. It's every, it's every time. Every time. Dude, there's nobody better. Get him an upgrade, please. How? I've gotten... You know what I just realized? I've gotten no breakout games this year. How? Like, that's kind of what makes these so fun, and we've gotten none. We've gotten zero breakout games the entirety of this year. Like, that to me is wildly stupid. Like, how have we not had a defensive breakout? This is where the kid just shows why he's the kid. Oh. Look at their, oh. Okay. Good catch, DJ. That's such a beam. DJ, you're, that's gross. Time out. Dude, what are you doing, Brett? The crazy thing is they're probably like, how on earth do you throw that ball? I just have thrown that so many times where the user just goes to the tight end usually. I get what you're thinking watching. That's the worst read you've ever seen. I agree with you. I do. But usually the user just does something completely different. Unfortunately for us, that time they did not. Oh, wow. The freeform dot. Good throw. From the shotgun, Lawrence. This is I guess we lost connection. Okay, well, he's 1-12. I'll see if... I don't really want to recreate this game, but I'll, I'm annoyed about the stats because we had crazy stats, but I'm probably just going to take the win in this one. His season's completely over, so yeah. I'll probably just take the win and we'll see you guys week 16. Okay, so the Giants were also 1-12. Uh, and 12. So we had another force win against the Giants. Hey, it is what it is, guys. This is a big week. Lions week. Um, I'm going to show you guys the playoff picture, show you guys the entire situation. Um, just so you have a better idea of kind of what we're playing for here. We have the division pretty well locked. The biggest issue is that the Cowboys currently... Um, as of right now, do have the number one seed. So they have two losses. Caleb Williams is going to get an upgrade, which is going to be awesome. That's going to get him up to an 85 overall. And he's already almost up to 86. Now, the abilities that I would love with him would be Hot Rail Master and some of those other ones. But he does get his third ability, and I'll go Red Zone Deadeye. Because I feel like Red Zone Deadeye with Caleb would be super, super nice. Darnell Money Man Moody gets an upgrade. We're going to go slot ability with Darnell Money Man Moody. He's made some ridiculous catches this season. I had like a dream of him getting a breakout and then potentially having three superstar receivers, but it is what it is. Khalil Herbert, very quiet season. He's probably going to request a trade. But I honestly just don't. I didn't see like the overall long-term. Like I wasn't long-term pumped up about him, so I was like, 
eh, I don't know if I really need to like feed him the ball a ridiculous amount because I don't necessarily think, sadly, in this year, 33 and 10 is actually pretty fire for a rookie. Oh my gosh. The stats are starting to like, the checks are starting to bounce. This is what I'm worried about. And if you're wondering what I'm worried about, this is it, dude. We got less pressure than a broken pump to like, than a broken pump. We have less pressure than that. But we get the Lions this week, the Texans next week. I believe Houston is 7-8. and eight. Um, I'm not 100% sure if Houston's going to play me either, but I hope they do. Uh, this is a big-time game, week 17. Let's win it. We need the Cowboys to lose. Who do the Cowboys play? Dallas plays against the Eagles. I don't know. I don't know how tiebreakers work. I don't know what – if we need these division wins to have a chance. Like if I win out – Oh, that's frustrating. What's what does he have better than me? Division wins. NFC losses. Yeah, no, he has no NFC losses. Yeah, no, he 100% has it. With the same record, he 100% has it. Yeah. I've lost both my games. His both his losses were in the AFC. So, he ha he has the tiebreaker over me 100%, but it is what it is, guys. Week 17, lock in like Stockton, get a dub. He'll look to throw. Oh my gosh, Brisker. Dude, he's throwing just mittens. That is a mitten. A Christmas knitted mitten that he just threw at me. Oh, gross. That's a beam. That is a beam. Good read. My goodness, good read. I have my fears about this defense. Like, I... I I'd be lying to you if I think this defense is going to be able to handle Kansas City or Buffalo. Like, I, I can't look at you in the eyes and tell you that straight up. That we're, that we're going to be able to play them and things are going to be okay. Like, try and lurk him. You know exactly what he wants to throw here. So just try and lurk it. Or what he wants to do in the run. Yes, sir! D-line you, baby. Sit him down third and four. If he hurries up, you know exactly what he wants to throw. Manually outside shade Williams. Manually inside shade him. Oh, you messed up. He's short. He's short. He's short. He's short. He's short. Fourth and two. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and make sure he spills it for a small gain. Running for it, Montgomery. Third and eight. Watch those safeties. Yeah, it's one on one. Oh my gosh. He is leaving one like these are the situations early in games. I know I'm getting one on one with Harrison Jr. I just have to take advantage of that. It's the Gilly Lock versus him. I just don't think the Gilly Lock can mess with him. I don't. I don't I, I think two people like isn't enough with him. Like it's it's an auto check for me today. And for that reason I'm out. Dude, it's an auto check. As soon as I see one on one on Harrison Jr., I just feel I feel a type of way about it. Go. Oh. oh my gosh, what a dot! Caleb Williams on the run. I've waited. I don't know if you saw that. I was patient. I was patient and kind. I was so patient and so kind. Get out. Get out. Dude fumbles every time. Get out. Yeah, throw it right on the cut. Right on the cut. You know he's got outside leverage. That's about as easy of a read as I can make. Go, Caleb. There we go. Just power option all day. Okay, defense. Need a stop, guys. Absolutely need a stop. On the off chance the Cowboys lose. Come here, come here. Get over here. Let's go. Way to get back there in the zone. Way to get back there into zone. Boxing. If you just outside shade it, that tells me one guy's going to be open. And like somehow catch it every single time. Literally don't know how. I don't know. 
I don't know where that guy's from, but it's not Earth. Marvin Harrison is just the best player I've probably ever seen. If I'm just calling it how it is, he is ridiculous right now. Caleb Williams, how did he get that throw off? That was quick draw or something. Again, again, Marvin Harrison Jr. just literally one-on-one -on -one against one of the greatest corners of my lifetime in Stefan Gilmore and just roasting and toasting him. This is a clinic right now that we are seeing. This is this is the price of admission that I was expecting in this league. Just give him a chance. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. Why not? I love that though. That's I'm, I would go back to that same play. Just throw this quick to Khalil Herbert and get three points. Move a little bit with him. Yeah. Four, three, out. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. The first kick return. Get out of my way, ref. Sorry. First kick return of the video. One man to beat. Shoop. Got him. They look to throw now on first down. Come here. That's just wild. That's just wild, wild, wild. Back to throw now on first down. That's a beam. That that's called. He saw something on the surface tablet on that one. Yeah, I was doing some crazy adjustments. He saw something on the, on the old surface, and he made a good call against what I was doing. Got him. Nice catch, Harrison. Dang, man. He's just sending his whole team. Let's let's go outside here. Let's get let's get this one on one with Marvin. I just want him to have to at least. Potentially double Marvin. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Like I want that to be. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. No, Williams. Okay, here I'm thinking. Honestly, just a super fade, super comeback from DJ Moore, maybe. They're gonna try and throw. How good at your arm, Caleb Williams? And he swats it. Okay. They'll come out throwing here on first down. No, no, Dude, we're gonna have a money drive. Run, commit. Okay. Mm. Bad decisions. Like, literally, I just got caught in the pocket like three times. I probably could have taken check down. Go, go. I'm just going to try and just take a little bit of time because the reason I'm willing to take some time is because if, if I was down four, I wouldn't. But because I'm only down three, um, a field goal is good. So if a field goal wasn't worth anything to me, I wouldn't do this. But because a field goal has value to me, I am. it's in my best interest to take the clock down. That's a bad read on my part. That's a bad read on my part. That's a bad read on my part. Okay, let's let's get up, let's get in his head a little bit. Let's try let's try and get in his head a little bit. What a break! What a break by Gilmore. I like that play call too. Oh, brother! Shoot! Can't help but to feel like this was a game we should have won. I truly feel that like this was a game we should have won. We gotta have two hands on the football here as they run on Just gave it away. Couldn't get couldn't get moved the ball. Couldn't get past the fifty. I made some pretty dumb decisions. And dumb decisions will get you dumb results. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Kinda like that throw was kind of a dumb decision. I had to play aggressive, I had to shade down. 
Oh, okay, hopefully this doesn't affect our seeding too much. Um, bad loss, though. Not a good one. Not the type of game you want to kind of close out a season with. Just poor decisions all over the place. Drew G's in the chat, fellas. Can't help but feel like this was just a tale of missed opportunities. Um, especially late in the game. This, this play right here, I probably should have been looking at DJ Moore. I would have had DJ Moore wide open. I just, for whatever reason, I saw the outside leverage and I was like, but that's just Gilmore. I had been torching Gilmore all game and he was back there. So I was like, ooh, okay. Threw it right on the cut. We get our hands on it. Like, would have been a first down, but just too much to ask him to hold on to that ball. Even though it hit him in the hands, that was not the right read in that situation. The right read would have been DJ Moore. On the cut, DJ Moore had a great route. Yeah, I, I had Marvin Harrison Jr. tunnel vision. Won't happen again. Dang, GG's, fellas. Okay. Week 18 just got interesting. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week 18. Ugh, gross. I'm mad about last game. Ask me about it. I'm upset. Ask me about it. I'm upset. I'm upset. It just sucks. I hate losing. Um, even if it doesn't change much, like I said, as long as Dallas... Um, who does Dallas play this week? Dallas lost? Are you kidding me? No, Dallas and me have the same record. Oh my gosh, Dallas lost. You gotta be And now Dallas plays the Commanders. Oh my gosh. Dallas literally lost. So if I won that game, I would have the number one seed. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ah, uh, now I'm upset. Because Dallas lost. Plus one throw power for Caleb Williams up to a 96. Gervin Dexter gets an upgrade. Kendall Williamson. Holy, okay. All I can think about is win this game and hope that Dallas loses. That's really all I can think about. Lock in like Stockton, baby. Let's go. Opening Holy. Sit him down. Good try, Brister. Okay, lock in, guys. Because if the Cowboys loses and we win, we're still the number one seed. The Cowboys plays the Commanders this week. If we gotta lock in and win this. This this matter. This could be as much of a first. This could literally be for the first round by. Yeah, it's just too much time in the pocket. He's even starting to dance a little bit. It's the funny thing, he he danced a little on us, didn't he? Oh, I love, dude. Clip that from Brisker. I love that. That's like my favorite type, like, totally unnecessary hit. Totally unnecessary. Too much time, that's a crime. Laser beam. That's a great job. Those second and inches, they make such a difference. Like, those plays determine games. I, I say that all the time, like, literally, if you can stop people on these third and fourth and inches, You'll win way, way, way more games. That's the best type of defense to, like, get good at. Like, red zone defense and short yardage just defense. If you suck at every other type of defense, but you're good at those two, I promise you you're going to win twice as many games. That's the best simple advice I can give. Too much time. Good play. Okay, defense is struggling. Dude. Dude, I just hit a clip! Like the video when you does that gonna like? Like the video when you see that. Timestamp it, like the video when you see that. Oh my gosh. Does that that was literally the, one of the most beautiful kick returns I've ever seen. Okay. Seven up. Good job, Jones. Kind of needed that. Good job. SWAT team. Good job, Smith. That's a that's a great read. That's a great read and a good throw. Back to throw. Got him. 
Got him. Got him. Rookie of the year, fellas. Potential rookie of the year. Should be. Well, honestly, his only competition is on his team. So, that stop is huge. 14-7, get one more stop. This could be GG's. Cross our fingers for a Cowboys loss. Got him. There it is. Defense. Fourth down. Timeout, 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 timeout. He's got to punt this. Go. Go, Caleb. There it is. Caleb, there it is. Dude. Mm. Oh, this is giving me shades of last game. Just, you cannot take situations like that for granted. Good hit, though, Brisker. How many for Eddie? Steady, even though we might not have, like, breakouts this season, going into next year, our team's going to be insane. I really, truly believe that. Like, next year, I think Jalen Johnson and Eddie have a good chance. There it is. There is the time I needed. Should have DJ more wide open here in the slot. Got him. Yes, sir. Good lays. Lays like the chips, fellas. Lays like the chips. Okay, a touchdown here, but I think pretty well seal it. Just look for Robert Tunyon, I think. Juju! Juju! So that's just me shooting two for the personal foul. Got him! Dance! Love it. Dude, CJ is going to be in trouble. GG, fellas. That's Stingley against Marvin. Stingley against Marvin. Give me Marvin. Give me Marvin. Good read. I don't know. He put his controller down. GG's, dude. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we put everything in our own fate. The Commanders versus the Cowboys. Our season comes down to that. Essentially, if the Cowboys win, he gets number one seed. If I win, um, nobody else's games are done yet, so we're going to have to wait a little bit. But if I win, then I'm the number one seed. We'll see you guys um, for the wild card. We're either number one seed or we're going to be number two seed. Either way, we got to go undefeated to win the bowl. Let's go. Boom, fellas. Let's go, man. The luck of the Irish. The Commanders defeat Dallas. And we, with the Chicago Bears, clinch the hashtag number one seed if you're watching this right now. Did we win any awards? Fourth for MVP. Um, okay. I like all that. Guys, I'm worried about our defense. Best QB was Caleb Williams. Guys, I'm worried. I'm genuinely worried about our defense. Stat-wise, let's go through our stats. This is why I'm worried. 35 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 3,600 yards, 550 on the ground, which was really impressive. Um, Harrison, DJ Moore, Robert Tunyon, Darnell Moody. This is what I'm worried about. I'm terrified of us getting stops. I just don't know. I don't know if at this point I have a good enough defense. I just, calling it how it is, I just don't know. We got to clutch up. We're three games away. What a season. See you guys in division. Ladies and gentlemen, boom, get the popcorn out. Oh my gosh, NFC chip. I didn't play this guy this year. He's one of the best, like... Get the popcorn out. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Caleb Williams is about to go up against, and we're going to talk about awards. We're going to talk about everything. Drake freaking May versus Caleb Williams. Very similar seasons are facing in the NFC Divisional. Bro, Drake May, the ring. This could be a rivalry that goes years and years if we do this franchise. Um, let's go check out this roster. He's got Drake May, Austin Eckler, Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel. We'll, like... This is a really, really, really tough defense. And I think that's the one like biggest worry when you look at this team is this this is a defense that can really mess with you. A lot of good players, a lot of star power. Um, they do a lot of things really good. So there's there's areas to be a little slightly concerned. I have 249 staff points to spend. I have lots of players to upgrade. Um, and I do want to go through awards because man, oh man, what an amazing season. Three claps for everybody. Um I think 
that I think we can win. I think this game is either like this is a bit of a mini NFC champion. Not that I don't I could easily I could lose to everybody. But I do think this guy is my toughest competition just in terms of I've played him before, he's beat me before. Plus one speed for DJ Moore. Love it. Um he's a good player. He's a smart player. He's a good player. He knows what he's doing. Um and I know this is gonna be a match. Caleb Williams, this is his biggest test ever. Um, 86 Scrambler, I don't think I get any new, ooh, I do get some different abilities with that. Let's go, Conductor's kind of a nice ability. Red Zone Deadeye, side, let's go Sideline Deadeye. No Look Deadeye probably isn't, and then Lofting Deadeye. Let's go all those, because each of those are going to help in, um, in different ways. Steady Eddie Jackson's going to get an upgrade, we're going to go plus one zone. Eddie Jackson's player model is absolutely messed up right now. Uh, but overall, guys, the fact that in year one with this Bears team, we do have the number one seed, we cannot say enough good things about that. I think that's a huge, huge, huge win. Now, I do want to spend my staff points. I like to wait until the end. As you guys know, and you can't get mad at me because I did get the number one seed. I like to wait until the end and then just like, um, just boost everything up for these guys just to make our team as good as possible. Just rather than like just going at the beginning, just, just wait, have that like wow um, zone cover, like all of these stats. Our defense is what I'm concerned about. We don't have a single superstar on defense. We lack star power on defense. That's that's given. That that is a complete given. Like our defense is really, really, really bad. I would say of the teams in the playoff, we have one of the worst defense, of course. So it's like I'm terrified about like how many points do I gotta score to win this thing? You know, like these are the questions that you ask yourself. Like we're we're not loaded at any position but all i can say is it's time to lock in i might even try and see, you know what are there any free agent linebacker or like safeties sitting around here i'm sure they've all been scooped but is there even like honestly tredavious more would help me a ton in the scheme that i want to run more would actually do a lot and so would dane unless there is like right now, we're we're just slow, dude. We're slow everywhere. Ashton and him would actually do a lot for this defense. It would allow me to not have to play those. As much as I love Terrell Edmonds, to play him in the playoffs at that position is a little bit wild. Um, I have my worries about that. So now I'm thinking maybe at sub linebacker, I'll put. Well, I don't necessarily need them there. I more need them in like the as true free safeties. I need. Ashton and him to be like my actual safeties so that way same with Jalen Jones oh I, I like that okay I'm, I'm actually I'm cool with those decisions that we just made I feel like those decisions and then Tyus Bowser like these guys didn't have crazy years but I think they can get to the quarterback guys I don't know man it's it's showtime game time pain time Caleb Williams versus Drake May are you not entertained like this is freaking content if I've ever seen content this is content Holy moly, sign the check, underdog season, year one Bears franchise, let's go. That was stupid. That was stupid from Drake May. Oh my gosh. On the run, you gotta be kidding me. Holy moly, you gotta be kidding me. Good read. Oh my gosh! Dude! What? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Dude, that was a pick six. That was a pick six to start the game. Oh man, oh man, I'm shook. I am completely shook about that. Okay. Can someone please get to Drake May? Clock. Eckler. 
is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. And that led to a touchdown, so decent sized deficit early on. It is, but I think. Come on, DJ. There we go, more. So they have to decide do we even need to change game plan, or do we just need to execute? It's a good play. Simple, simple, simple. Try not to. Let's try not to panic. Let's just try and play football. Try and double team Allen. Give us a little bit of run room. That's what I'm saying. That that's that's gonna be the difference. If I if I double team Allen in the middle, our our run room's gonna be way, way, way more. If I if I literally I just gotta double team him every single play though, unfortunately. Where is it at the one? Fine, this is this is so crucial. We gotta get points on the board. I I can't take three here. I really don't think I can. God, right, let's go, Caleb. Barely, 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 Caleb Williams. Okay. Oof. 14-7 defense. We just gotta get Drake May off the field. Drake May has been absolutely in his bag here. Um, on two drives. He's he's running around, he's throwing lasers, he's doing his thing. We gotta stop him. Get some pressure. I knew defense was gonna be a problem on this team. Gotta prove myself wrong here. And now to this well this efficiently, I know they'll take it. And afterwards they'll say there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful with this one. Oh, I almost click on lurch that. Literally, it just took me too long to get to him. It just took me way too long to get to that. Ah, oh, he got it. Okay, that's going to be the two-minute warning. Oh, goodness. Something's got to change, dude. He's, he's dotting this up. Something's got to change. He's he's absolutely dotting this up. Good job, Marvin. Good job, Marvin. There it is. Shoot, I should have just kept it. Oh, I was a second. I didn't trust it. I was worried about an inaccurate. I was I was really, really, really stressed about an inaccurate pass in that situation. Unfortunately, I just waited way too long to throw that ball. Defense, can we get a stop though? Like none of this, this is all cute, but like, does any of this matter unless I can get off the field? No, absolutely it does not. Our defense has been absolutely horrendous. Caleb Williams, back-to-back -back drives, absolute just lasers everywhere. Marvin Harrison Jr., I haven't even sniffed a stop here to start this game. So, something's gotta give, man. Something's gotta give, holy moly. He didn't get it. Holy, he missed that. He missed that, missed that. Oh, yeah, he's got Tressway kicking. I don't even think Tressway is. I think Tressway is a punter. Okay, that's a success. Defensively, though, oh, my gosh. What do I freaking do? Like, I'm getting no pressure from my three down lineman sets. I think I got to start sending, like, six and just crossing my fingers. But main objective right now is we got to tie this game. We got we to gotta do our thing. Caleb's got to clutch up, and we got to tie this game. Simple as that. Got to tie it up. Good play. Good job, Moore. Good job, Moore. 
Good job, Khalil. Good run. We're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. DJ, I love you, man. DJ, I love you. Back to throw now on first down. And that is incomplete. He dropped. Yo. Ooh, did anyone? I thought Marvin caught that. I. Oof, I was certain that Marvin caught that. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Being chased out left. You're good, Caleb. Oh, that's Montez Sweat. Anyone else, I would have been fine. Quite honestly, anybody else in the freaking league, we're probably okay in that situation. Oh, gosh. Is this four down? Is it four down territory? It kind of is. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. Caleb, I love... I need three to win at the end of the day. Now Aldrich Roses for the field goal attempt. On the left hash mark... To win the game, I need three points. I hate this call. I hate it. Robert Tunyon just dropped. I cannot believe Robert Tunyon just dropped that. But at the end of the day... I'm going to need a stop, and I need three points if seven points is going to mean anything. So, oh, my gosh. How on earth did we mess that up? Okay. Yes, sir. There it is. That's some anger. That's some anger from Gervin Dexter. That's a little bit of anger. Good job, Gervin. Good job. That's fourth. Come here. Get over here. I'm blitzing everybody. Good play. Tanya, you made up for it, Bard. Tanya, you made up for it. Oh my gosh, you made up for it. Thank you, Robert Tanya. You made up for it. I'm not mad at you anymore. I just want you to. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I had to take a risk. Caleb Williams. Oh my gosh. I'm not mad at you anymore, Robert. Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh. That's not that good of a read. That's not that good of a read. I'm going to pass commit and blitz everybody. Dude, oh, I thought, I thought for sure that Drake was going to get stuck in an animation there. I really did. Ooh, gross. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's fourth. That's fourth. He's taking three. He's trusting that defense. Oh, my gosh, Caleb. He's got Tress Way. He still has his punter out here. He still has his punter out here. He still has his punter! Dude! Be smarter. That's your punter. That's Tress Way. That's not a kicker. That's a punter. That's Tress Way. It's... Dude, I don't even know what this guy is thinking. I, I'll take it, though. Holy moly. He's got Tress way over there. I, I don't think he has an idea why that's happening. Robert. Robert of House Tunyon. Robert of House Tunyon. There's a flag. There's, he's, that's on him. That's on him. That's on him. Illegal contact. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I had nobody. I was in a snuggie. Okay, now we run a little bit here. Good job, Khalil. Snap. Third and 
He got it to me, didn't he? Yeah, you gotta you gotta go for the win. He stopped me twice on fourth and two. I had, I felt like I had to go for that. It was stupid, maybe, but even the game said you got to get two yards. How do you mess that up so bad, Brett? Thank you. Get off my freaking field. Come on, man! I got you, Caleb. I got you, Caleb. <sighs> GG's in the chat, fellas. GG's in the chat. We're moving on to the NFC chip, and I like my chips with the dip. Shout out to Drake. Shout out to the Toronto Raptors. NBA champion Toronto Raptors. Shout out to my mom. Shout out to my wife. Shout out to everybody. If you're watching, oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite wins. This guy has beat me twice in a row. This is a huge, huge, huge win. After a horrible down 14-0 start, Caleb Williams... Despite a really ugly finish, leads his team back. This guy had Tress Way kicking field goals. And I do not think he even still knows in the chat what happened. His punter was kicking his field goal. And that literally does not work. Bro. GG's in the freaking chat. Best husband ever award. Three years running. I almost sold it. That two fourth and twos. That's... That tells me, you know what, this is what we got to work on. Like, those fourth and twos, that, that's a clear problem. That's something that we don't, our short yardage with Khalil Herbert, just, it was not there. Here, I maybe could have thrown more. Like, oh, there I was boxed. And then the next play, but this interception by Kendall Williamson here, you can see Williamson gets back to a good spot and just makes a play. That's, hey, players make plays in big time games. Guy, Caleb Williams, rookie sensation, is going to the NFC chip. I like my chips with the dip. Whew, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, bruh, oh my gosh, this is the price of admission. <sighs> oh, brother. The Cowboys, dude. Cowboys are a disgustingly good Madden team. Disgustingly talented squad. Um, weapons on both sides of the ball. This is one of those things, like, the Eagles aren't here, which is a, maybe a little bit of a surprise, but honestly, the fact that we get the Cowboys here is a ridiculous... I don't know why rookies are so glitched. I don't know why George Moody's so glitched, because George Moody's actually a stud. I just, ugh, it annoys me. But our, whatever our lineup was last game, I felt like our defense was some of the best it had been. Um, I'm very in between making him play this in a blizzard or not. I think he clicked the button. Look at, he did. Look, look what he clicked. This freaking dude. He clicked the button. Yeah, no, everyone's going to be slow, dude. We're about to play this. We're about to play this in a blizzard. Oh, punch me in the face. Face. Dak Prescott, Raheem Sanders, um, Steedy Lamb, Michael Gallup, two both superstars. We can man press this team. Um, they will burn us a little bit. This this line is the problem. You got to deal with Micah. You got to deal with Layton. You got to deal with all these guys. Trayvon Diggs. The DBs are really good. William Jackson. He's got a good rookie. Um, luckily, no more Gilly Lock. Malik Hooker. He got Donovan Wilson to a superstar, 86 speed. Guys, this is one of those games. This is a legacy game. You're either a rookie. Who, either Caleb Williams is about to take us to the freaking chip or we're about to lose. It's cold. Where is Caleb Williams from? I don't know. I don't know where he's from. It's going to be a cold night. 640 at Soldier Field. I, I don't even care. Just in case he didn't click it, I think we need that. I think we need that Bears energy, dude. The snow game to go to the bowl. Shut him up. Let's go, Caleb. Sign the check, dude. Dotted line. Print it. Hat on. Let's go. Okay, let's dance, Cowboys. Bro, this is this not what you ask for? When you go into the season, is this not what you hope for? Like, come on. This is too freaking good. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Nope. I got stuck on my D-line. I've played this guy before in a Super Bowl. I have a decent defense for him. So, oh my gosh, why is it not letting me? Verticals, that's verticals, that's verticals. Got him! Let's go, defense! 
fourth and 12 to start the game, man. Let's freaking go. He caught that. Wow. Oh, that's frustrating. That's frustrating. That's a wild conversion. I cannot believe Jalen. I don't even know who just burnt Jalen Johnson. That's that's the million dollar question is who burnt him? Like, and how did he get by Jalen Johnson like that? That's good defense. Oh, come on, defense. That's a great time. Steady Eddie. Steady Eddie. He's short. Ah, oh, he got it. Good push. Nope. Nope. That's going to be fourth. That's going to be fourth. Yep, held the three. Good freaking defense. It's going to be tough to score, though. Like, I got to... We're dealing with Micah Parsons, and this guy is traditionally known for being very good on defense. I'm going to have to take shots. I'm going to have to play aggressive. We're going to have one-on-one -on -one looks that we're going to have to take advantage of because I know for a fact he's boxed me before. Like, I'll say it. This guy has boxed me up before. So, good stop, but... Oof, got me. Need more. Need more. Let's go, DJ! Good catch. Good catch, DJ Moore. I love that. That's big time. He's, he's man bump and run. Like, and he's got safety help on Marvin Harrison Jr. So it's like he's kind of trying to take him out of the game, meaning everybody else is going to have to just be that much better. If he's, if he's taking him out... Don't even, that was, I, I blanked. I, I blacked out. No idea how I just got that. No sweet clue. Go, Khalil. Good job, Khalil. Good run, man. There it is. Potentially a playoff MVP candidate. Potentially a playoff MVP candidate, Robert Tunyon. There we go. Second down. He'll keep it himself. That's a good play call. That's a good play call. Well done, Caleb. That's just a read option look through and through. Good drive. Okay. All right, keep it in front of us. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Oh, I begged every. The streak was boxed. I'm gonna blitz the league on him here, actually. Nope, scared ya, scared ya. You swerved a little bit. Good job. I do not think he expected an all-out blitz there. I promise you, he did not expect that. Too many yards, guys. I manned that up. I manned it up. He didn't realize it. Oh my gosh. I manned up Eddie to him. Eddie, that could have been a pick, dude. 
Oh, Eddie, that could have been a pick. Now Prescott. Snuggy. Fourth down. He gets three. That's fine. We get ball at half. Three's fine. Great red zone defense. Holy situational defense. We got a 10 out of 10 right now. Situational defense has been unreal. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to do anything stupid. I might run and then throw a Marvin Harrison Jr. throw, but the only guy that I would ever throw this ball to is Marvin Harrison for like a legacy Bears play. I'm just going to streak Harrison because sometimes this works. No idea how he just caught that. No idea how he caught that. But also, I'm sick that he did and ended up one yard short. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Second half adjustments. Caleb, we were fire. We, I stepped up in the pocket good. I got the ball to my playmakers. I did everything. Like, we even ran the ball good. Just, we gotta repeat it here. I cannot, I'm, I'm blown away by that. I am in, I'm in a bit of a shock about that. Ready to go for their next drive. And I think here with the lead CD, they have to resist that temptation of kind of looking ahead. Would you agree? Absolutely, I would agree because they know this. Go Khalil? Good run, Herbert. Now a play fake here on first down. Yep. Go Harrison. Good job, Junior. And we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. Good job, Moore. I'm just I'm just making plays. Oh, I don't I do not mean to have two clock on. That's from before the half. Yeah, luckily it's not working. Second and four. He's gonna rifle one deep left side. Oh! Oh, that could have been something. That could have been something. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Unreal read. Unreal read. That was a step up. I literally stepped up in the pocket. Bought that time and threw him open. I threw him 100% open. It's so hard to score from here in this game. Dude, you're in a snuggie. I know that play. Pick a new one. Pick a new one. I promise I know that play. Pick another one. I'm going to need a new play. Throwing on second and long. Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. Looking to throw. Prescott. This is caught. It's caught. Adding some tempo. Now Prescott. Steps away to his left. And he is into the end zone. Back on the onside kick. These fans on pins and needles. A Super Bowl berth on the line. And he slips past them. But they put their eyes in the right place. Took away all the creases. And slowed him down in a big way. Good job, Junior. Good job, Junior. That's all I can say. Oh, Eddie. Eddie, you almost just took us to the Super Bowl right there, Eddie. You almost just took us to the Super Bowl. Drop it. Just way, way, way too much time. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still were made. Here's first and ten now. Don't let him just run this though, Brett. Now Prescott. This is caught. Touchdown. 
Love Schoonmaker. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. And oh, he missed it. No Dude, way. no way. Thank you. You just... That we have been bailed. I'm not even going to pretend like I have not been bailed out a little bit on the kicking game. I literally blame Madden because Madden puts the little thing in front. I can't start talking like I won yet, but I still, I still got a lot of work to do here. Oh, brother. Because I would still have to hit a kick. Okay. We need a first down. First down and we're going to the Super Bowl. That's pretty much the way to look at this. First down, you're going to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl! Let's go, man! On the back of Caleb the Mad Williams! Oh my gosh, and a big thanks to EA for literally having a broken kick meter, which I don't even feel right about. Hey, bear down, fellas. Freaking bear down. He just missed an extra point. And then somehow we get the onside, which was just in, in a dis Disgusting display. I have no idea how we got that. G freaking G's in the chat. Caleb Williams is going to. He might even be X Factor. Honestly, he won Rookie of the Year. I could have a bunch of upgrades. He could be X Factor going into the Super Bowl. I have no idea. What a perfect. When you look up perfect game in the dictionary, it better have a picture of Caleb Williams' NFC Championship in his first year. Two touchdowns, 193, 46 on the ground and a touchdown. Literally no mistakes. And receiving wise, Marvin Harrison Jr. just took over the entire freaking thing. This is my favorite Marvin Harrison. Look at this throw that I made here. That's just wild. Like, I knew Marvin Harrison Jr. was there. He kind he clicks on, he's a little late. Got him. The other, the throw in the fourth to Marvin Harrison Jr. was a dot. He goes to Raheem Sanders. He ends up scoring. We barely get the onside, ladies and gentlemen. Book my ticket to the freaking bowl. I like my chips with the dip, and I think Caleb should. He won He won an award. I think he won best QB, so there's no way he's not going to get an upgrade. Guys, we could be looking at Caleb Williams' X Factor in the bowl. That would be so disgusting. It's not even funny. Plus one upgrade for Marvin Harrison. I think he might get red zone threat after that. No, physical is still that. That's is what it is. Is what it is. Okay. I think we're playing Joe Burrow. So we'll see you guys in the bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, just as I imagined, guys. Oh my gosh. Progression history, QB of the year, development trade increase, superstar X factor. Now, what do I need to upgrade to get him? I'm gonna keep doing this one because it gets me the best upgrades, but I actually don't know if I get any good throwing abilities yet, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, we're two field generals away. Are we gonna literally be, end up as an 89 field general? 88 strong arm. Bro, I'm sick. Oh gosh. Okay. Mm ah. Uh, so. Ability-wise, we, we get another one, Gutsy Scrambler. Um, we're going to go, I don't use high high passes very much. Um, maybe inside dead eye, sideline dead eye conductor, and then we're going to do Bazooka. Bazooka is his uh, X-Factor ability. Or maybe Pro Reads. Pro Reads. Yeah, we'll, we'll go Pro Reads for him. Dude, we're one away, meaning that please, guys, help me get a season two because oh that would be disgusting um the other development trade increase we got was marvin harrison jr he gets a skill point and he's now an x factor I mean, he gets double me our both of our rookies had unbelievable seasons and now have unbelievable abilities they it's literally these two carrying us carrying me my 
poor decision making my through everything. These guys are carrying me through everything. Um, Super Bowl. We're going up against the Bengals. I haven't even mentioned that because I wanted to talk about that. Cincinnati, a guy who I've beat before, a guy who has a good team. I've heard he's been playing really good with the Bengals. I heard he's locked in. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to believe. All I know is it's me against the world, and I, I want me in that in that battle. Give me me because I think if I'm creative, if I play good defense, I can carry this defense to the Super Bowl. And if we play offense like we did last game, where we literally didn't get stopped. I wouldn't bet against me. I really wouldn't. But I'm not saying I'm going to win. I'm just saying I have confidence to know that I can go in here, do my thing, and get a dub. Let's go look at the Bengals roster. Joe Burrow, 99 overall. Joe Mixon, X-Factor. Jamar Chase, superstar. T. Higgins, superstar. This is a... It's a um, it's a squad. Let me just be the first to tell you. This is, a, this is a really good football team with fast corners, good DBs, really fast safeties. They have the best safeties in the entire thing. Shelton Bennett, a rookie, Daxton Hill, Jordan Battle. Like, this this team is ridiculous. Um, but I'm not even thinking about that going into this game. All I know is my team. All I know is my rookie QB. All I know is winning and the city that I'm from. We we absolutely clutched up back-to-back -back games, 14-3 and three year, one game away. The dance. Can I take the Bears to a Super Bowl? <sighs> Let's go. Let's go. Just, just open, dude. Just open with some yards. A play that I know I'm confident in. Oh, my gosh. Go. DJ, DJ, I want more yards. Don't you dare get caught. Stiff arm. People will go with the stretch. And then oftentimes Y will be literally wide open. That's what I'm saying. People will see that formation, assume things. Don't assume. Laser. Good stuff. 7-0. Okay, defense. <sighs> Turn it up, fellas. Turn my mic up. Turn my mic up, because we're about to go crazy. I form tight. Oh, he's so lame. So many people, including myself, really struggle to stop this guy's run game. I literally just do like a bend but don't break run defense against him, because I know he's going to run. I just try and make sure it's not touchdowns. Like, I literally, I'm trying to force it outside. I'm trying to make sure that he can't run on me because he loves to run the ball, and a lot of people cannot stop his run, including me, most of the time. Not today, though. That's gross. He's X-Factor, too. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's, it's Joe Mixon or nothing for him. He's, he's trying to get Joe... Like, if I just double him, I'll have more success than what I'm doing right now. He... He is not even turning. Like, as soon as he sees Joe Mixon, that ball is immediately gone. Immediately. There we go, Brisker! I'll click off. I don't care. I'm not here to make friends. Let's go. Good play, Brisker. He's short, though. He is short. He is short. I might need help over top. Oh, why didn't I think? Why didn't I assume he was gonna run there? Like, why was my first thought pass? I thought fourth and inches. I should have honestly ran commit. That's a snuggy. That's a snuggy. Just need better pressure, guys. We need better pressure, D line. The coverage is there, but like, if he's got 20 seconds in the pocket, like. Does it really matter how good my coverage is? Someone's just going to come free. Good play, Brisker. Like, it does not matter what you do coverage-wise. If they have that much time, they're going to get a route bounce. Someone's going to bounce the route and be completely wide open. Nothing matters. D-line has to get home. Has to, has to, has to. Why is that so open? Why am I leaving that so open? I didn't have hard flats on that play or what? Oh, gross.
Great throw, Caleb. Great throw. Driving me crazy. I just can't get any run room at all. What do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon. He's different. He's different! And he loves his team. Let's go, Caleb. He might he might honestly assume run here. That's the thing. He did. He did assume it. He did assume it. Oh. We need a timeout. Caleb Williams is exhausted. I don't. I don't want him out here throwing. If he's tired, it'll be ugly. Oh, with the state of kicking in this game, no way I'm kicking this. Presence, dude. Pocket presence. A plus pocket presence. Holy moly. The step up on fourth down to deliver a route that is not overly fun to throw in those situations. He didn't get it. He did not get it. He did not. How can you not ever get those? That's the most frustrating thing. We really suck on these short yardage plays. I honestly might come out in trips and just call a play to the running back. Like, I don't, I feel like he'll know this is coming. It, there's no, there's no decision here. You have to go for this. You have to. Thing is, he has no timeouts. He used all of his timeouts to get the ball back, so we're not in a good situation by any means because I didn't score, but we're not in a horrible situation. He's got a pass, which is good. There we go. Good. Good job. It just proves how scared he is. Like, the fact that he's running in that situation with no timeouts, it just proves he's terrified to throw the ball. He's just really good at He's just really, really, really good at running. Just take away the hard flats, honestly. Take away the running back and the hard flats. And now they will throw it with Burrow. They'll set up the screen here to Mixon. And Mixon. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. Like he's, he's got no timeouts. He's literally running for field goal range right now. He's running for field goal range. And it's it's insane. It's so hard to stop. I don't like he's just gonna run. Crazy, crazy vibes. On second down, here's Mixon. And he'll go out of back. Oh my god. We gotta score from the one. We have to. There's no there's no way around that. That's just that's sad. It's bad. It's sad. It's bad. We can't you can't get to the one yard line and not get points. Like you don't win Super Bowls with that. You don't win games with that. You don't win anything with that. You have to get seven points whenever you are in a spot like that. Tie it up. Get out here, Rosa. Come on. That should be good. That should be good. Should be good. Come on. Good job, Mooney. Way to get us in range, Mooney. Caleb, calm. Caleb, calm. Nothing phases him. Couple lasers. Laugh it off. Let's go. Come on. Win a game, though. 
Stop Joe Mixon. Literally, get him off the field once. I think I can win. Like, truly, third down and four. Third down and five. Fourth down and two. He's running. Blitz. We need to stop the run. Force a fumble. Do something. Like, this is the type of stuff you're getting. And, like, it's, it's bizarre, but, like... It's just hard to, like, without committing everybody, all I can do is try and get him to third and fourth down, truthfully, because these can so easily be touchdowns. Can you make the Super Bowl play, Brad? Can anybody get to him? Again, it's Mixon. There he goes left side. And they're gonna have this across. Oh, I went the wrong way. Thank gosh. Good job, 95. Good job, 95. Holy moly. And he's taking the clock away. Good defense. That's fourth down. He's either got to take three or he's taking three. Okay, we got a chance to take the lead. Honestly, stop Joe Mixon and make him pass. How to win the game with Brett Bear. Stop Joe Mixon, make him throw the ball. Like, he wants to run the ball to Joe Mixon 40 times today. He's, are, he's on pace for 40. No joke, he's on pace for 40. So, holy moly, come on. There it is. There it is. Good run. Good run, good run, good run. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he will slide to a stop. It's big time, Caleb. It's big time. It's big time. I, I want him to go on a money draft, so I'm not worried about the clock. I'm worried about scoring. First off, I'm worried about scoring. Because at the end of the day, I don't think he wants to go on like a super quick money drive. I really don't. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And unable to connect and broke the play up. He's going to take another shot here. Marvin Harrison Jr. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. He, he ran cover zero. I was like, I'm going to the same thing. I know it didn't work that time, but I'm like, as soon as I saw he didn't have a safety guy over the middle, oof. Oof, you better believe I'm going up. Nobody I trust more than Marvin Harrison Jr. Laser from Caleb Williams. Lofting Deadeye, baby. Okay. Defense, you're probably realistically one stop from a Super Bowl. So, one stop, we're holding a ring. We're holding not a ring. We're holding, holding a trophy. We're getting a ring. One stop from a ring. That's a screen. That's a screen. That's a screen. No, that's not good. This could be a touchdown. That could, you literally... Oh, my God. It's, all he wants to do is throw to his running back. This is completely exhausting. It's exhausting. I absolutely hate it, but... I can't hate it because it's working really well for him. Running left, it's Mixon. And he's got it across me. Once again, they run with Mixon. Good job, Brister. He's chewing clock. This could there is a very good chance this is gonna come down to a run money drive, which is essentially a drive where someone runs the ball the entire money drive. Mixon will try the right side. Someone's got to make a play. I may as well call a timeout. He's got four yards to go here. Oh, what a gross game. What a gross game. He might run this. He might run this. This goes out 
He's short. Dude's coming out and running for the- Oh my gosh! I can't, man! I can't. I literally can't even right now. I honestly cannot even. Super Bowl! Oh my gosh! Freaking Gervin Dexter! You're a bad dude, Gervin! You're a bad freaking dude, Gervin! A bad dude! Oh my gosh! Don't fumble. Don't fumble. He can... He, he, he's gonna have a Hail Mary. Gervin, you're a bad dude for that. Gervin, you're a bad dude. Oh my gosh. I've never played a game like this in my entire life. A game where literally... Khalil Herbert, well done. I'm gonna be able to take the clock the majority of the way down. Um, and then punt it to him, and that punt should end the game. Like... There's no reason for me to do anything other than run the ball here. Unless he has, knows how to block a punt or something. Ladies and gentlemen, I take my chips with the dip, baby. I take my chips with the dip, baby. Ah, come on, man! Shout out, dude! Kill like button for season two. Kill like button for season. What a game! Oh my gosh! Ten thousand likes, we go run this back with the Bears. Ten thousand likes, we run this back with the Bears, man. Bear down. Caleb Williams is your first ever rookie Super Bowl winner. Marvin Harrison Jr., Caleb Williams, the whole squad puts together an absolute freaking masterclass of perfection, and Caleb Williams is on the podium. Oh my gosh, let's freaking go, man. I love this job, dude. Oh, I love this job. That's the craziest ending to a Super Bowl I've ever seen. Literally, a guy who, like, he, he runs because no one can stop his run. Like, I'm not hating. I'm not hating. Like, dude, no, I couldn't stop his run. Caleb Williams, 230 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Absolute perfection in the bowl. Marvin Harris, the junior, clutches up. We go on a muddy drive. We go win it. He stops us at the one. I'm not mad about it. We have this play, this third and ten, where probably this was the play that I thought should have been picked. I didn't feel very good about this read. I actually probably should have went DJ Moore. The next play though, 50 yard laser touchdown. And then this ends it, dude. This fourth down and four, where is it? I hope they have it. Dude, this is the best play I've ever seen by Gervin Dexter. Look at, look at this. Look at the run, Phil. Look at the run. He runs with his life on the line. And look, this is a squad. This guy, Gervin Dexter, Look at Gervin and he finishes the block. Gervin, I hope you watch this. Boom! That's how you finish. That's how you stop a run to win the Super Bowl. Everybody, the whole squad, the Bears defense. Boom! And look at him. The shock in Jalen Johnson's eyes as he knows, I just won a bowl. I can believe he ran there. And it wasn't even a bad call, but I just could not believe he did inside zone. He probably thought he had it right here. He literally thought he had it, and honestly, the squad just pushed him. That, that's up there with one of my favorite bowls, just because it was so different. You're playing against a guy who is one of the best runners that I've ever played, averaging 6.3 a pop, ran for like 2,000 yards in the season, and all we did was clutch up. Guys, Bears Nation, kill like button for season two. I'm going to need you to, because I want to see Caleb Williams win five Super Bowls, or, or a few, even a couple would be nice at this point. I'm not mad about a couple of Super Bowls. Holy doly. Who won MVP? Let's go find out. Season recap. Joe Burrow okay, and Super Bowl MVP, Caleb Williams. You cannot tell me that's not cool, guys. Hey, let's run this thing back. Love you all. 10,000 likes for the run back. That'll unlock year two. 
later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a second channel where I post golf every day. Make me the happiest person in the world by go subscribe. Check out that channel. There's a link down below. My Instagram is tdbarrettyt. My Twitter is tdbarrettyt. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kill the like button. Um, go watch another video here. And like I said, go subscribe to my second channel.